Mr. F. Chan, Brian. Yo, 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 what's good? Yo, what you happened? Know, what's happening? Look, oh, look at this guy. Look at him with the with the flower shirt. He's he's in Hawaii, but somehow he's in his motherland at the same time. I don't know how he does it. Oh, isn't that the he's, same? Isn't that the same? Because like the uh, Philippines has 7,000 islands. It's an island country. You only have water, beach, everywhere. So, oh. So it's the same. Yeah. One day I'll be there. Yeah, dude. I'm gonna go visit, experience. Yeah, like I, I don't think I'm ever like excited. I told you already that I don't. I'm not ever excited to travel ever. It's like I've done I've traveled already too much. Oh really? But you know what you're excited for? This podcast, though. Oh, for sure. Oh, I can feel it. I feel it. Ooh. <laughs> Energy in the room. So, uh. You know, we're going to let more people pour in and whatnot, uh, and we will get into the swing of things. But thank you guys for tuning in on both sides of the stream. We appreciate you. We look to make some magic out of this. It's two great minds coming together. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give something of extreme value to our glorious fighting game community. Yep. Um, I am very excited always when it comes to producing anything, some sort of like consistent content because mm -hmm. consistent content is quite rare in FTC, right? It's rare that we don't really get to, um, we don't get to have that as much as we should in FTC. Oops. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Hold up. There was like a little bit of bleeding here on the, um, on my camera from my end to yours. Uh, hold up. Second. Okay. Here I go. I think that's enough. No. Not enough. Oh shit. Oof. Oh, never mind. Okay, I'm just gonna do this. Um, I need to put you just over the top. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, yeah. So, um, we talked about this podcast idea, um, in your stream last week, right? Yeah. And he's like, you know what? We should probably do a podcast, man. There's like, there hasn't really been any podcast in FGC that's consistent. That's like mm. the real motherfuckers. You feel me? Like, like you got a lot of like nice ones out there. That's like good. Aside from like Yipes, actually, but they're not doing it as consistent because Yipes is super busy in Chris Matrix. They're like my favorite. So, True. Like, yeah. So, so aside from that, we nobody's really doing the covering part as, aspect when it comes to the podcast level. So, it's like, I don't really care mm. about the name. I just wanted to do something. Podcast talk about. You know my my perspective, you know, and your perspective, like mm -hmm. like, and I think that's really awesome because we have two different. We're we're currently in two different sides, right? So like if right. you're here in Asia, you're there in North America. So you're in the strongest region in NA for sure. Like the NA East is the strongest region over there, right? For sure. Yeah, I'd say so free. Yeah, for sure. Like, but like, I think that Asia is the strongest region in the world. But you know. Mm. But like I'm saying, like we're gonna have different perspectives on different m many things, and I will always mm -hmm. represent um, NA. But like it's just good to to to, to share that to our audience in general, you know. Like, yeah. Right. Yeah. Probably talk about some inside inside scoops about, bruh. I'm gonna be like, dude, you guys don't even see this, bro. But like, there was like a a side event that it wasn't mm -hmm. really stream, but my man. Daigo was cooking everybody. You know what I mean? Like, 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 like those kind of things, right? You know, the underground um, M and M's, like, like yeah, those the fight things. Club. Yeah, the dude. real fight club. <laughs> dude, like, bruh, you know, this man, this man Daigo was cooking, was mm. cooking. You know, just the, those little things. So, I was really, really excited to 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 just get into this one. And oh, yeah, okay. I'm excited, man. I'm excited to get your perspective on a lot of things. Uh, you know. Just pertaining to the psychology of the game, the nuance. You, you're you're so good at like the advanced stuff, but I actually really fell in love with your simplicity of things too. Like just talking to you, I was like, damn, that is so simple. You know, like remember you were telling me the other day about how you like how I teach masters, but then what you were saying about how you teach platinums and lower. I started incorporating that into like my lessons of just like teaching really simple strategies to give them like a foundation and a base. Yeah, you know, yeah. like things like that, like just empowering players. That that's like, yeah, it's a really cool way of uh, going about it. So I learned from you. I still learn from you. You know, I'm always gonna learn from you. Oh no, no. I, I try to learn from everybody, man. Like, uh, there, mm. you, you just just so much thing that you can do on your own. So I'm always, always, always open to work with people. 
because because uh, like multiple perspectives is always better. Like I right. mean, I can sometimes play the arrogant role at times when I deal with Marvel, you know, whatever. Yeah. But but right after a certain event or like I need to practice something, like I'm always open to practice with every everybody, play with the best players in the world, study, mm. study, study, study. You know, I always know that I'm not perfect and I can mm. always learn from somebody. So like this like something that I learn and then I you know and then coaching players some pros coaching pros pros coaching me mm. like you know it's kind of nice like to have that kind of like dynamic you know in general yeah. just like and then within that I kind of learn how to dissect like different skill levels mm -hmm. that before actually my early days of coaching I was trying to teach them so so much complicated stuff that they get stuck in training mode trying to do this combo and they don't even know why. I, mm. you know, like, so, so I need to teach them the ABCs for, of right. that level, not the ABCs of the game, of that l rank or league that they're in. Mm. You also need to keep them engaged. For instance, let's say you, Zaf, is an amazing coach. You give them a homework of what they're supposed to do, okay? Mm. And it's hard because you gave them so much stuff, okay? But mm. you also want to give them something that they're going to get some immediate results with it but then mm. also give them something that they're going to have to work on it as well so mm. they don't lose motivation mm. from losing because they're going to lose for sure yeah then, it's inevitable yeah and then when they improve and then you know and then you move on from it but yeah but yeah they, they will always improve but then you're going to have to balance that aspect of it mm. right, 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 right. Mm? cool 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 okay so today we're going to talk about um a few things. Talk about CPT, um, um, CPT NA East, right? They just happened mm -hmm. like literally like a few days ago. And also, yep. we're gonna revisit Street Fighter League NA finals, right? Mm -hmm. And we will be talk about Street Fighter League Japan as well. Finals reaction. Um, obviously, we didn't get to watch it, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, you know, you know that you know about that, right? That uh, was like pay per view, right? Yeah, bro. It was so, it was so, I respect it though. I respect it because I respect the hustle. it was awesome. Hustle. Yeah, it was awesome. I, I love it. I love mm. it. Like a, mm. anytime you can actually do a fighting game event, it's pay-per-view and then you're selling out an arena, bro. I support that. I, sure, yeah, I, I can't, can't get mad at that, man. I, can I can't get mad at that. That we didn't get to watch it. It's not like we can't watch it. We just have to wait a couple of days. Yeah. It's not yeah, like, yeah. you know, like some people were kind of like being super like entitled to it. It's like, bro, relax. You know, it's a show, you know what I mean? Like we didn't, yeah, get, it's we a show. didn't get the tickets. You feel me? Like, so, you know, we just get, so trust me, if I knew that you can just pay for it, I would have paid for it. That's like, they're not charging you more than 20 bucks anyways. Like to watch I don't know, how, I don't know how much it was. I saw like 3000 yen, which is probably like 25 bucks or something like Wait, that. Right. Maybe i would never even seen it. It was not promoted. Yeah, I saw the website. Somebody sent it on my Discord, but I just I would have easily I just it was too late. It was I was like, I don't want if I watch this, I'm gonna fall asleep at like eight in the morning again. I can't do that. I'm trying right. to correct my sleep schedule. Yeah. Um so I need to I need to like Okay, maybe watch those games once they go live. It's mm -hmm. like those games are so nice. Because like the, the amount of high level stuff that's being displayed every day is just so much to consume. At some point, like I like just if they say if I don't play for like three or four days, what happens is, um, like I feel like I missed out on some new meta that's currently developing. I swear, mm. I, I, I'm getting this like FOMO feel. Like, bro, am I missing mm. out on some shit? Like, no, 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 no. I want to see these timings of their parry decisions. I want to see this mm. greedy timings are doing you know how like your opponent is like minus three yeah okay but like because they they threw a move that they're minus okay but now we can take our turn right okay mm -hmm. but instead of us taking our turn with a jab or, or a crouching jab we can take our turn with a you know the our low forward a low mm -hmm. a low right and then we hit them mm -hmm. because they're walking mm -hmm. back because they're minus right we can also right. take our turn with a drive rush take a turn with a drill take a turn with a float mm -hmm. Take a turn with right. all those nonsense, fears, roundhouse, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? It's to create that right. opportunity. And like, obviously, that's like fleshed out already. Like, we know that. And that's like the skill of the player determining when is the perfect time to do those things. But yeah. there's like many nuances that I've been seeing that like I feel that when they're starting doing the parries on like, well, 
I actually start doing that today as well. Like before, I'm doing a parry very linear on timing, like just to get perfect parry on here, perfect parry here, mm-hmm. perfect wake up, perfect parry to fireballs. There's some the headbutts, mm-hmm. the butt slam, you know, you know those little things, the gin right, right? You know, you perfect parry mm-hmm. those. Driver's jab is guaranteed perfect parry timing as well. So if you do mm-hmm. driver's jab, you counter with parry, or you could counter with jab mm-hmm. check, right? So like those things. But now, perfect parrying the string that they're doing a lot. Like they say, like they say, jury would do like medium, medium, two MK, right? I'm not okay. parrying it yet because they might be grabbing me. But then now you're gonna build that data that they might go for the string, and then you're gonna press your parry when the two MK timing. So now you're actually legit calling out their strings mm-hmm. that will only perfect parry that point. Like like those mm-hmm. those situations. I was like, man, mm-hmm. like so I gotta start doing that way more and like perfect parrying certain situations. Like I even tried to do like they say jury jump I'm in the corner I anti-air with a teleport okay because it's like one button yeah because like sometimes you're going to do the low dive kick to bait you to do back medium punch right like, you jump. yeah yeah mm-hmm. and the moment they get off the floor I do forward and three punches and they got out of the corner and they're kind of confused they're like instantly mm. confused in that, like you know, they're not like, wait, what? Like you know what I mean? Like they're, they're it's super, uh, super fast. So like those mm. moments, like the, the mm. like the new decisions is like, so you just gotta work on those. Your decision tree is like branching off and just it's more variance. You love that word, variance. Hell yeah, yeah that's like the best. I've been ever. using that word a lot. You rubbed it. You've been saying it. I've been saying it too, like on the daily, you know. Because now I'm looking for it. I'm like, what's the variance that I've been ignoring? It you is know? parents. It is parents. Nobody yeah. has a hundred percent win rate. If I put you in a right. situation, sure, I'll be. Fa- Let's say a, a player that has an amazing neutral game, theoretically, mm-hmm. would be on seventy to eighty percent favored in that spot. Okay, right? For sure. Mm-hmm. I have an amazing neutral game. I will not try to engage in spots that I will have be, you know, unfavored. Right? Let's say if you're Dawson, you don't want to be point blank to goddamn Sangi. If you feel me, like like you stay All in right. a range that were your favorite, right? So let's say you have, you have an amazing neutral game and you're able to do that. You have whip punishes. You do this. You do that. The uncomfortable areas, you're super good there that, like, now that's not disadvantage. It's, like, even there, right? So now mm. you put them all together. All that compounds into your neutral game number, which mm. equates into your win rate. Your win rate would not necessarily be 100%, right? Your win rate is going to be, like, what, 70, 80, 90%, if that, overall. Mm. But, like, that's really high win rate. If they're like, so that's, I think, how, like... I feel I improve is like little things I add in my game and then I don't really worry about the immediate results I worry about did I improve or not like because like mm. sometimes you improve you got really better but you might not get the results that you want right now right okay? like, I'm serious I'm so serious, serious like, like a lot of people were talking about this I mean we can we could we could talk about CPT NAEs but like you know how like punk lost right yeah. a lot of people are like thinking like he's not good or like you know saying some some negative stuff about punk and stuff you know you know he has a, he has mm. a few haters out there i can i can relate to that because i had those things but like do, do you ever think like somebody like punk who's like super good but didn't get his results that he wanted and to think of for a second that he's not good you gotta be insane yes i agree that's foolish i guess one of the if, if it's not the most skilled player i've ever seen like, but the people that do that are people that project themselves onto the player. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't get better, because they lose. They attach the two things together, and then they're like, "Oh, if he's losing and he used to win, then that means he's washed up." Yeah. It's like no, that just applies to you because you don't try to get better. You're not actively growing every single time you pick up an arcade stick or a pad. Yeah, for you sure. Mm-hmm, totally. Like, like also, there's like many, many different factors. Like, I, they, 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 you could definitely see it here in Asia. Like. The mm. amount of all the pros play each other every day, right? Okay. Okay. This, to the extent, right? Mm. So let's say if I play, I will get to play with like eight pros in the day, right? You know, we run okay. sets, many sets. They have to sprinkle some rank training, talk mm. like that. Next day, it's a different mm. set of them running back tournaments, whatever side tournament, whatever. You know what I mean? Like that, so that's what like nephews doing. That's what like the birds were did in Japan. You know what I mean? That's like standard, okay? But like every single pro, I always say this. They don't have, they, none of them dominant. None, none of them are, are dominant at all. Everybody mm. loses to anybody, to, to somebody that's pro level. They don't have, always have a good day. And then the only yeah. player that's actually legit, like consistent at like winning at like an 80 to 90% mm. 
on their sets are the birds. I always say this. Like everybody, everybody else are just splitting games with each other. Mm. It could be like Takedo, could be like Pudo, Xian, Shaohai, DCQ, VX Bell, you know what I'm saying? Oil King. Could mm. be anybody here, bro. Me, fucking, you know, everybody. Nemo, every all just exchanging games. Eat the zone. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Like every day you're gonna see some new sets and this guy be like this, be, beat this guy, lost to this guy, beats this guy, lost to this guy. What the hell? Like mm. it's like that. No, back and forth, back and forth, like yeah, yeah. tennis, right? Like uh uh-huh. Since now you can see a big sample size, mm. now you can t- totally see the variance in the game. Because since all you guys are super so close in skill, we were close in mm. skill, right? But then somebody will be slightly better. But that slightly better is enough to sway. Like there is results a little bit better than that in. But in a bigger mm. sample size, that's like going to be super close. Nobody's going to have a high win rate there. Like at mm. all. Like, so so mm. that's like super insane to see that. And then their matchups as well, conditions of the day. Some players are just not playing good that day. So you just tack it onto variance too, because everybody will have a bad day. That's normal, you know? Mm. But yeah. So do you think do you think it's the birds having a, a crazy high floor? Or is it their capacity is just that much higher than everybody else's? What do you mm. think it is? Um, I think um I've watched some of their games and they've always been an amazing player. Like always, right? Mm. Always been. Um, it's like, look, this is not the first hurrah that we've seen Big Bird cook or like Angry Bird, right? Big Bird got seven right. Evo, that's a five. Mm. It's been in yep. tournaments. Angry Bird won the CPT NA um, um, EU finals as well. Yeah. With Zeku, did we can now mm. as a as Street Fighter League, right? Like, so they've been super accomplished anyway. So like, there was nothing mm. new about that. But that, but this is there's a difference here. So, if you are the actual innovator. And innovator, mm. which is like the, the how the game is played at the highest level, not the character. Mm. I'm talking to how the game is going to be played at the highest level, because because yeah. they were the innovator, right? They were mm. they were ahead of the meta. They knew exactly how the game was supposed to be played, and you, I, I felt that at Evo when I talked to them, when I, when I went to their room and then you know we hang out a little bit. Like I felt that, and they were doing so all the advanced stuff already for that time. So mm. if you are if you are the innovator and you're ahead of the meta, what happens is that. When they keep playing the pros, since everybody's playing catch up, we're gonna try to figure out how to beat that. Well, guess what? They already thought about how to beat like the counter to what they did. So, so we're all everybody's playing catch up. So unless somebody has a new meta, or approach or a tempo, whatever it is, it's the only time that you know can kind of like even the playing field. But for now, I'm mm. telling you, it, they're they're just like better, like you know. They're better. Sure, they can lose for sure. And anybody at, 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 level, at that level for sure. But like I'm saying, like they're better. Yeah. Like I, I, I'm not scared to 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 admit that. You know, I'm gonna be mm. like, they're better. They like, gotta be. Insane. Yeah, I mean, well deserved. They yeah. worked so hard, and you know, they're like super persistent, and you can tell they have a passion for the game too. So it doesn't surprise me that they're at the top right now. Super good. Super creative. Mm. Yeah, amazing neutral game. I was like, bro, it's just insane. It's just insane. Yeah, like, I think I feel like when I watch them, bro, like they're just so dynamic. You know, like yeah. that word. Uh, I've been really paying attention to like seeing when players, you know, players that win are they dynamic or are they just really strong at what they're strong at? But those two are really dynamic. I feel like they have a range, they have a spectrum of yeah. how they can play. You know, yeah. especially Angry Bird. When I watch him yeah. play within the same set, he looks like five different people. Oh yeah, that's the best. You can't mm-hmm. be like you can't have one style. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's like, so before, the previous fighting games before, because like, you know, I've been part of like many generations already. Sure, I wasn't part of the older generations, old, old generations, like kind of like Daigo's mm. era and Tokido's era. But they, but mm. so they had to adjust to more generations, right? Because they've been in the fighting mm. game for so long. Like, but like, I, okay, SF4 era, there was like one style. Every player, every pro player had one style that they're really good at. All right? You know what I'm mm. talking about? Like, I said four. Yeah. It was like that. They have one style they're really good at. I'm not saying they're not versatile. They're absolutely versatile. They're they're all mm-hmm. specialists. And then you got like infiltration. Sure, he can play many characters, but he's still playing infiltration style, which is yeah. strong neutral, a lot of whiff jabs, a lot of feints, right? Mm-hmm. Like back dash and the amazing forward dash jab jab. You know what I mean? Like 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 yeah. infiltration neutral, super good. And then you got Momochi style, who's just like really like like really like a tank passive. But like walking you down, doesn't jump mm. and just hits mm. you, everything optimal, you die. Then you got yeah. Daigo has a lot more heart. Then you got Bonchan, right? Super defensive. Mm. Okay. Mm. Like, like so everybody had a style. They got Pierre Borrow, you know what I mean? Like everybody had a style. Okay. Mm. And then like, you got SF5. 
since the game was like a little bit linear at the start, people need to add more styles now. Mm. So they were able to expand and do that. There's more information. So now you get to expand more styles. Like in Marvel, mm. you had to have many styles. Okay, but in Street Fighter, before it was like you don't have, you can't really. You have like, okay, I'm about, I'm about, I'm about to go in. Yeah, you, you, some people say that, you know, old school. I'm mm. about to go in like that. Okay, cool. But I'm talking yeah. like an actual style, being dynamic in that sense. So like yeah. every single, so Street Fighter Six happened. Uh, uh, the stream have seen this like every single like month or week. It's like guys, I'm working on this new style that I'm, you know, like every time you need to add a new style to your game, all the time, and just keep up with the pros mm. because sometimes. You're, you you say you got the matchup down, but then you fight the matchup, and then you end up, like, you feel like you don't know the matchup because you're using the wrong style. Because his play style, the style that he's using for you for that day, just mm. your style that you're currently using versus him, it's not going to work out. So you need to have, you know, mm. let me try this one. Let me try this one. And then you, right. now, it's like you have a new character, but, like, a different style, a new set of decisions that you're going to mm. play, like, a five-way RPS nonstop. You know, so, so it's, like, it's super, it's super, super fun. Like, like to do that. So I think I have a seven now. I'm working on my eighth, but like I have seven. But when you fight, like those guys at like Angry Bird, Big Bird, bro, they're like, they would like one time they can be like, Bon Chan, you feel like you're super patient and slow, just creep in like a Terminator, and then all yeah. of a sudden it becomes Pierre Borrow. Like, and like in like 10 second difference. I'm like, bruh. Like, like, you know, the way they change gears is so good. Yeah. yeah. So what do you but, think is the key of being able to develop that as a skill? Huh? How do you, how would somebody go about cultivating that as a skill, like an advanced player, somebody that's already linear? How do they become dynamic? What is the what is the path to accomplishing oh, okay. that in your opinion? So, okay, I'm glad that you said that because if you because that doesn't apply on non on, on non pros, it has to be pros. Right. Okay. Right. For sure, because you the, in order for you to be pro proish level, you need to have a style that's super good, right? A, st a style mm -hmm. that you're really good at, right? And then you get 2K yeah. MR for sure with that. Okay, for sure. Mm -hmm. 2K MR, a good, very, very, op I mean, very, very optimal one style, okay? Let's say you could mm -hmm. be like super aggressive can, or you could be very passive can. You know what I'm saying? Like, it could be anything. It could be a slower loop, or you could be the super fast loop, right? You could do any of those. It's okay, right? But yeah. then, like, at the higher echelon or the highest level, they have many styles, right? Mm -hmm. So the way you do that is... You really have, I mean, at least for me, the way I develop style, I'm deliberately creating styles since the mm. game first came out. You know, I'm like, okay, I'm going to try to play this way. Okay, and then I'm going to tell mm. the stream, like, okay, guys, I'm going to play weird, okay? But just know that I'm really going to force this. I don't care if I fucking lose. And I will play mm. pros. I'm going to play this style. But I have to tell them exactly what I'm doing. I said, this is not an excuse. I'm not sandbagging. It's not like the first time I'm going to use this. I've been, I've been working on this. I just haven't really premiered it. Okay, so today mm. is our first day. So, so like you have to take else. So like okay, so let's say for instance, like if I play doll sim, I'm a, let's say I, I use my strategy for, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be like, no floats, only fast fireballs, drive rush, and then my AAs would be, only back pierce. I don't have back medium punch. And then you're gonna be like, huh? Mm. Why the fuck? Okay, well my ground <laughs> game is gonna be super insane. When I tell you that, my ground game is going to be super insane. Since I'm not moving a lot in the air, I'm not doing stuff, you are forced to jump a lot. So my, my jump mm. is going to be back fierce because I walked you into that answer. Do you understand? Like, so so, so mm. that style alone and super ground game based and like uh, like drive gauge depletion style is super good in some, some, some matchups. Some matchups mm. of play. I'm talking player styles, not even characters, okay? Like, and then there will be like the fireball dolls some style, you know? Super dynamic, some teleports with the fireballs, some more slides, some add to driver's jab, you know, like all these things. Yeah. Like, 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 you know, you can play traditional Dawson, you know, you can play SFI Dawson with floats and stuff. You can play that mm -hmm. as well, you know, non committing one, no damage, but super stable and safe, super reactive style. You have that too. Aggressive, like, bro, it's shit sick, cr crazy. And you, you can imagine, like, you do that shit with Can, dude. It's like, bro, sky's the limit with that one. That's interesting. So, you, you, don't just like keep it to one aspect of like the game right because you have neutral you have footsies you have your anti-airs you have rush down corner pressure okey all that stuff but you like put everything together you like no no, no. this is no, this is my strategy and then you have a a, a thing you're gonna do for each no that's is, that, is that what it looks like no 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 so so it would be like this right so what you're talking about it is is your player attribute what you're saying your neutral your footsies your aa all that that should be a default 
in that level. It's the default. You should have perfect of those to the best of your ability that time, right? You know, to the best of your ability, you should have perfect of those attributes. At pro level, mm-hmm. you should have every single attribute. You might not be max max of all of them, but you're gonna be max mm-hmm. max of some of them. And in every other attribute, you're like damn near almost like nine out of ten, right? For sure, mm-hmm. right? But then you're gonna have some outliers who's gonna have like a twelve out of ten at that one attribute. For instance, like let's say, we give example, let's say punks, punks footsies. That's not a ten mm-hmm. out of ten footsies, bro. That's beyond that, because everybody yeah. in pro mm-hmm. level got amazing footsies already, of course, right? Mm-hmm. But like punk is better than everybody's ten out of ten. Like, let's mm. just like agree on that, you know. <laughs> like if you get, right. like like the hit confirms on that man, it's different, okay. But like you know, obviously there's other attributes of the game, your game knowledge, all that stuff. So those things mm. matter. And then you have strategy. Within your strategy, then that attribute just goes on top of that, and then you run that strategy, which is the file that you've been working on. But it doesn't okay. mean that you can't deviate from it. You still can. Mm. That's like your guide, what to do for now. And then that keeps constantly evolving because you're constantly creating branches for it. Okay. Right. Like then you can still deviate from it. But then you create branches from that, right? Like that over and over again. Mm-hmm. And then within that, you're developing, you're actually creating more nuances and situations that you get started to notice more. Oh, shit. Against these kind of players, if I play this way, they actually do this more. And this is why you, I, you can start calling out what they're going to do next. A lot more mm. because you, but the, so you're gonna start like recognizing patterns to a different level. Because, like, mm. the more you expand your brain on like many different strategies, the more you're seeing different situations that you've never seen before because you're stuck in one style, right? Ah, like, like, that makes sense. You understand? So, like, let's say, for instance, like, okay, for instance, like, let's just talk about something super simple. Let's say somebody jumps and your AA is just back, medium punch, flame. For instance, for instance, just yeah. to make it simplify it, okay? That mm-hmm. situation will create a ran, a, not a random, but like a, a, a new one. After the back medium punch, you cancel to heavy flame. They can do mm-hmm. what? They can do EXDP. They can super if they do. Okay, it not be, mm-hmm. might not be the smartest thing, but they might do it. Okay, or they yeah. parry at the moment they land, or they try to do DI, which is stupid. They do those mm-hmm. things. But if they parry, they can cancel the parry into drive rush, which creates that weird scenario. Because they sometimes you want you want to press a heavier button after the flame, right? Okay, right. so that creates that branch there. Or I'm not gonna press my button the heavy, I'm gonna press uh, a back medium kick, a slightly late, so just in case they overextend forward, right? But then okay. what if they don't, they just whiff punish me? What if they jump immediately after? Like, you know what I'm saying? So that creates that situation, right, many. But then let's mm-hmm. say you don't, you stop doing that AA, you start doing anti-air, jump back medium punch, teleport, jump back medium punch, float, jump back medium punch, fireball. You know, mm. the amount of, like, newer situations that were created from that, just changing one anti-air, it just creates a new set of branches. Then you're going to notice different things. Oh, shit, mm. they like to jump here, right? And then you're going to notice right. a different situation that will kind of resemble that. And you're going to have, like, oh, shit, they like to do this at this. Then you're going to know. And then when you fight another pro that's super elite, but never seen that style before, they're going to go to their default comfortable decision, and you just basically right. own them automatic. Okay, but like that's just one AA, okay? But like imagine actually having an entire file of strategy. Yeah, yeah. Can you imagine like how much stuff like bro, I, I keep writing notes as I go and I play and like okay, I'm gonna do this, like okay, do this, like mm. that. Like it's like super, super fun to do it that way. And like mm-hmm. and I don't mind, like they say like if I play a pro and they're like, Okay, you know what I'm gonna what you know what I'm gonna play um John talk to you today. I'm gonna play this style. I play like Santaro, who's like number two, three Rashid in um in Japan. It's like I'm gonna mm-hmm. play this style. I got fucking smoked. It's like, ugh, I lost like I so lost so bad. I lost like fucking three straight sets that day. Mm. I was like, all right, next day I'm gonna invite him again. We're gonna run it back the same thing. Okay, we're gonna do the first to three. First to three times three. All right. So I, I said, I'm gonna use my other strategy. I smoked him. Mm. It was three oh. It was like it was bad. It was like a fucking Damn. it was like the eclipse, bruh. It was bad. But like, <laughs> but see, he's he he's still just as elite. Mm. But like what I'm saying is like since I changed my strategy. And my template was still the same. Now I've seen more situations, and now I'm able to sort of sort adapt. That one I didn't really have to adapt right. because adapting is simple, straight up for me. Okay, you should adapt. But like I'm talking like a just one thing. Like if you're losing and be like, okay, I need to adapt and switch it up. I'm saying sure, that's adapting. I'm talking like no, from the gate you actually had like a counter from the start. You don't have to adapt yeah. anymore. You just click play. They just lose. Right, like that. Mm. That that's like it's like a prep time. Yeah, there's like GG in that one. It's like a different skill set too. Yeah, that's that interesting. So, 
Yeah, so I, I tell people, like, if you want to practice a skill, you have to create the conditions for you to practice the skill. Uh, a problem I see a lot of, like, newer players uh, have is, like, they want to practice anti-airs, but they kind of, like, sit and pray and say, please jump at me. I'm like, no, you oh, have yeah, to create yeah, the conditions, passive. you know? Yeah, yeah they're passive. Mm -hmm. And I, I tell people, you have to be proactive when it comes to practicing things, right? So if you want to practice your footsies, create the conditions for footsies, right? right. If you want to practice anti-airs, you, you have to create mm -hmm. those conditions. You can't just sit there and wait because yeah. people have their own agenda they're not gonna always participate right so you have to create the scenarios or force people into those scenarios and then if you mess up it's okay you know yeah, you just get your reps it. so that's why you call like tunnel tunnel vision right they tunnel vision into one thing so that means they cap their mental stack into just paying attention to one thing that's basically what happens like paying attention to aa they only look at AA and they just die that way right? mm, super passive they yeah. cap their mental stack but like and also you gotta see like some amazing players that i've seen like a super super good like, they might not look technical, but they're super technical. I know that for sure. Like, you say, like, for instance, like, you see if you watch, like, Mena play, he's goddamn fucking mm -hmm. technical. There's no way in hell that he's not. You know how, like, you're going to see, like, some, 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 some experts in the chat, some experts in YouTube calling, like, Mena random? Like, bruh, are you stupid? Like, like, you understand how amazing this guy, he's super technical in that. Like, when you see, like, Punk play, you see, like, Do play, bro, you know, the three best in fucking NA, right? Like, you just know, you're, you just know they're fucking awesome. Like to have a, to have any other comment there, like like to say that like you know what they're doing is like cheap or this whatever. You're just like you're just dumb as fuck. You're just like gonna be bad for the rest of your life if that's your fucking mindset. It's like they're just fucking awesome. You gotta have to acknowledge those things. You know, doesn't mean like they, they right, can't right. lose. They can definitely still lose, but they're they're always gonna be favored. They're super good. You know, right. World Rose class for a reason. I mean, you don't win two Capcom Cups. Bruh, for sure. You know what I'm saying? It's fucking just, awesome. Yeah. yeah, fucking awesome decision making. Like, like their the, their their styles are like very um, like very fluid. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, like I've seen Mena be the was was gonna play like, um, what did he play here? He played in the, in France, and he's like, okay, I'm gonna go maul this. Player. I think he played like hot dog or something. He played he picked um Luke. And yeah. then sometimes he would start off with a jump or a drive rush, right? Those things. But then he knows that you know already he would do totally different things that counters that. If you're paying attention to that, he just fucking walk forward. If you're looking for yeah. the jump or the drive rush, you just walk forward and took advantage of that one. And a lot of people are gonna be like, but that's like a little bit of advantage. Like, bro, that's huge. You got walked the fuck down immediately from the start. Right. By yeah, but that's like fucking Luke. huge against Luke. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's huge. Yeah, so like those things, like, you know, like, it's super awesome to see those kind of like mind game that you're doing. I think like what you said too about like how it's so subtle that nuance, but it's significant. That is also why players or not players, but casual people will watch a top player and not understand how big the gap is between top players amongst each other, like a uh, Angry Bird versus the rest of the field, right? Because those nuances that Angry Bird has mastered, right, or he's that much closer to mastering at least, they're not obvious. They're very subtle. You know, subtle, you need to yeah, have a shotgun gun to see it. You know, if yeah, you watch it, yeah, it can easily just be like, oh, I mean, he's just going ham, right? Or, oh, yeah. he's just waiting, right? Like, no, no, it's yeah. it's a lot of nuance. There's a lot of decision making. His meter management is on point. Uh, his oh strategic God. management, like, right, his just observation. There's so much yeah, totally. oh, that goes into being at the top yeah you, you know? know what's so crazy about this like jimmy and cn talked about this before and then it's like bro isn't like jp supposed to lose to like luke's and like and and, and dj because like the dry brush bro what do you think and then he's like supposedly oh, that's the rumor but i don't know yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. But mind you mind you we talk i was thought we were just talking about this it's like it's like mm -hmm. in, in theory right and then he's like okay mind you i don't think for a second that that was gonna be a big thing anyways but like, I don't mm -hmm. believe for a second that like, like you know, like people were gonna say, oh, this guy's just drive rushing all day, whatever, right? And then like, mm -hmm. that's why this motherfucker would be winning. Like the idea of like a, a player just doing drive rush and beating a pro, it's just impossible, okay? Mm -hmm. And then and Sam just highlighted that. He was like, bro, this dude, literally, can you think about it? Can you imagine just beating Cocker with a drive rush? Just think about that for a second. Just like, just look at this, just hear that out. It's like, yeah, you're right. It's kind of hard to do that. Like, you mm -hmm. see, like, okay, like it, sure, it, the drivers works if there's other elements that was added to my stack because the player has right. sent that message that, are, that they can do the following, and then the drivers can happen. Or the driver's scenario was created because they, I did something that was, like, severely minus that they were able to capitalize to do a driver. 
But if you're just gonna do raw mm. drivers like a like a like a like an eighteen hundred MMR cat, that's not gonna work. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. like in just general, like but like so so that is just that's why I like the game a lot actually. I I just really love fighting games, you know. Cause like I, don't, I haven't really played a lot of fighting games. I, I mean I stopped playing fighting games right in like two thousand um, eighteen actually, and then um and then I started playing Street Fighter six. Again, mm. like 2023. But then I did play a Marvel game, actually, uh, 2020, like a few tournaments. But yeah, but, you know, I love fighting games. You know, I just love the, the mm. chess part of it. It's just super awesome. Like, and then you can see, like, some high-level play. It's just nice. I, I always appreciate those things. So let me ask you, what is your favorite thing about competition? And then what's your favorite thing about teaching? Oh, what do you mean, competition? competition? Yeah, like, as a competitor, what's your favorite thing? And then what's your favorite thing about teaching, the teaching aspect of... Uh, it's like obviously tournaments. Okay, mm -hmm. I guess let me, let me split that. Okay, so with competition, I, I don't really think about the winning part, but I want to win. Okay, of course, I won a lot right. of tournaments, but like I'm saying, I don't think about the win. I'm thinking about just do the work and do it right. Execute the strategy. Pre mm. Actually, execute my preparation, and over time, I'm just gonna win a bunch. That's, that, that's how we're mm. gonna look at it. I'm never thinking about I need to just win to fucking this goddamn event right now. Like, like, that, it, if you're like the absolute best player in the world and you go to a super stack tournament, like with like a bunch of like top 10, 20 guys, bro, the chance of you winning that's probably three, four, maybe like at best it's like ten percent. Mm. Let's say you know what I'm saying. Like, let, let's say for instance you're like Angry Bird, Amena, Punk, Du, mm. Udo, like Kakru. Let's say say those are like the best, right? Let's just say, all right, okay. All right, so those guys are the best. The best six, seven, whatever. You could add a few other guys there, you know, just to float your boat. But, like, okay, those guys, let's say you do a tournament with all the pro players in the world, the odds of, like, one of those seven winning is for sure, like, less than 10%. To say that outright they're just going to win that shit, like, higher than 10%, it will be insane. Because, look, you, yeah. still, have, you still have DCQ, you still have like a Mago, you still have like some... Yeah. You, got, you get everybody. Okay, you got, you got yeah. Chris Wong, Gachi Kun, O King. Okay, you got yep. Nef. You, you know what I'm saying? You got Snake. You know yeah. what I mean? You got so many. You got your EU, bro. Like, that would be say The entire Japan, bro. Like, mm -hmm. you got Bon Chan, Sako, all the chun Lis that are there. Bro, there's no way you can say that. Like, they have to play perfect, but they're favored for sure. Like, in yeah. like... And the head to head matchup across the board, but like for them to win outright and say they're just gonna win outright, like bro, it's insane. Like, okay, think about this. Like, you see, like the other one when when Mena qualified, right? Versus Do that was a fucking insane yeah. finals when he played Bonka right. Right, versus Do, but that was like the last game, last round, literally, literally. And Mena pulled it out of nowhere because yeah. he okay. was down significantly on that right. round, okay, but like, okay. So let's just say Knuckle do qualified that time. Because I know mm. for sure Knuckle do is going to qualify there. I'm pretty mm. sure that Punk, I, I thought for sure Punk qualifies too. Okay, because I, I, I couldn't imagine a Capcom Cup without Punk. I swear to God. Okay, but like obviously shit hit the fan because Mena wasn't able to qualify in the previous ones because he got seconds. Right, so that kind of right. ruined the timeline. You feel me? It's a different mm. timeline. But anyway, let's say Knuckle do won that already. So now you're going to have Mena and Punk on like the CPT NA East. That could have changed the entire dynamic of that tournament because, like, the Punk's preparation will probably be different or, or his mindset because it's mm. going to be, it's not do anymore there. It's going to be um, Mena. But then, what, what's Mena's matchup versus everybody else? I don't know. I'm sure he's a favorite, but not as, yeah. probably not as dominant as do versus everybody else in NA. Because do's super dominant in NA, though. Thing, but I think Mena can dominate. I, I no, agree. no doubt. Like, he... uh, no doubt. No, you don't have to say I'm... that. How? I'm not saying can. I'm saying I'm, yeah. I'm saying like reflect. Like he's had some like losses that you can chop up to just like bad days. Yeah, yeah totally. Everybody you know what I'm saying? Like Which yeah. happens to happens to everybody. Every totally. single everybody. person. Yeah, totally. Right. But I yeah, I, I think there would be like equal. It's just that Mena hasn't participated as much. Totally. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sure. So that's like the. But that's why I would give it to do just just because of that. Yeah, I'm saying like we're not we're not we don't have to discuss who's like. More consistent, who's more yeah, godlike. Like, we don't have that. Both are given. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like what I'm saying is like I'm talking like with, with the NA region East, yeah, mm -hmm. right. Like do is like more dominant than than Punk and Mena in that region. Mm -hmm. 
across the board, not by a significant margin. I'm talking by a little bit, a little bit. I'm talking yeah. like a sprinkle, right? Because that's how that's like the, the gaps that they have are like so insane. They're ahead of everybody mm -hmm. else, right? Okay, so I'm talking like when I say consistency, sure, like you can see, do lose to Punk, do can lose to um, you know to a few guys, you lose to um, men, right? Sure, here and there, but they can also beat them too as well. But when mm -hmm. do can like absolutely demolish everybody else like three O's, like. You know what I'm saying? Like he mm -hmm. doesn't get losers as much. It's straight out shot. But also to to in defense to a punk, like he's probably not taking all those tournaments as serious. Yeah, he plays like his side characters and, and, and shit, characters, right? Too. Yeah, and yeah. He yeah, still so, gets so, high. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. And that dude is just amazing. You know, because like, mm -hmm. he could, like, he could legit play any character and fight you with your main that same day. Yeah. You just learned that in the morning. Yeah, bro. that guy's super yeah. fucking amazing. Yeah, so he's really good. Guy. He's, he's, he's so awesome. fun to play against. I was playing him in rank today. He was playing like three different characters, and I was having mad fun. I was like, bro, I could play this dude all day, man. Oh, it's too good. Yeah, I love that. I love playing with the pros nonstop, dude. Yeah, yeah. That's why I was. I'm happy to see like nephew going here in, to Japan, because like mm -hmm. obviously nephew is one of the best players in NA. You know, so he goes to J Japan. And then now he gets to, we get to see the matchups of like you know like him playing versus a lot of internationals. Because it's mm -hmm. like splitting games with everybody, you know? And that's always yeah. awesome like, to see, you know? Obviously, it's world class. It's always going to be world class. So, right, right, like, right. like, like, so, so it's super nice to see that. Then you can start seeing, like, the jury limitations that I've been talking about in, like, for, like, two months now. I was talking about, there's, like, limitations here, guys. I'm telling y'all this. But, like, nobody was fucking believing me. Like, now, motherfuckers, now you see Twitter, you got Eduardo talking about the jury limitations. <laughs> yeah, there's fucking for real. There is. Yeah. yeah, but you had you were at, you were you know you were on the wave of the meta as it was flowing and developing at breakneck speeds, bro. And then everybody else is just kind of like we're all like detached and you know and and that's the that is the privilege that you have you're experiencing, bro. You guys are so tight knit over there, even though you guys don't live together, right? It's like a bunch yeah. of countries in Asia. You guys are all interacting and playing, and you got a. Illuminati group chat, right? Yeah, like, that's, yeah, that's so the sick, bro. Like, yeah, Illuminati that's so group sick. chat is so good. Who wants to play? I need a JP. And like, okay, and then you put that. It gets translated. And then like, all right, um, Kakru, is Kakru available? Kaku, and then Kakru will reply, I'm not available. But then you're going to have some volunteers. Okay, Nemo's available. Nemo, can you play? Like, or you say, do you get those backups to play mm. with? And that, it's not really like a nerf, you feel me? That's like bro. Nah, not at all. It's a lateral <laughs> okay. move. But like when you put you put I wanna fight a can. I say you type in there. Mm. You're gonna have like maybe seventy eight thousand fucking motherfuckers there, like like available. Like mm. if you ask for Ken or Luke, bro, there's so many. Luke, JP, Ken, bro, those three motherfuckers are just too common. Those are not those, like that's crazy. There's too many of those guys. Are, are those are those your best three matchups because of that? Because of the exposure? No. Not my three best, no. I mm. will never be the like that's not Okay, it's kind of like JP, Ken, Luke, and, J and DJ, right? Yeah. Like, it doesn't matter how much hard you practice for them. You're going to get better at that matchup. But like, they're never going to be easy. <laughs> yeah, I don't mean, like, in terms of, like, you dominate. I mean, in terms of, like, you understand so much about it compared to the other matchups. You know, like, I, Geef, for example, we don't have to study Geef like that, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 for sure. But, like, your, think, your capacity in the think, JP matchup is insane. I think my most, comfortable, my most comfortable when it comes to knowledge... Because if you're fighting pros, it doesn't matter if you know it. Because they know how to fight your character, too. Because there's so many Dalsims yeah. here. All the pro Dalsims are primarily here in Asia, right? Not mm -hmm. counting you and Crimson, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, okay? But everybody is here. Like, you got Mochi, Tordomechi, ITK, me, Lucky Boy. You know what I'm saying? There's EO. so many. Yeah, yeah, yeah. EO, right? Yeah. So, 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 so there's so many Dalsim here. So, like, my most ones, I guess, that would be, like, Marissa's. Um, I got some Rashid Chun-Li uh, mm -hmm. jury. I'm talking like my my best ones there. Um, I guess like I, I don't really. I guess my worst ones for sure it could be Cami. Even though I don't see the thing is like Cami is for, for sure definitely my worst. But mm. but then I have new things that I need to implement. But the thing is I I've been putting it off though. I haven't really been labbing her because I was because mm. it takes it will take more time for me to if I like if I'm gonna lab and concentrate to how to beat Cami. Like when I say beat like. To make it 50 50, okay? Mm -hmm. Like, if I just used my time instead to do, let me just put this more to Ken's or Luke, it will be more value because there's more of them 
and in Cam, you yeah, see where there's only like three or four, mm-hmm. right? They get to fight, right? You know, and and I still can like, I feel like if I'm fighting like dudes or or punks, Cami, that's the only thing that matters, is there? Because like mm-hmm. the other Camis, it does like I say I was running to Kazu or or um, what's the name Mizuha or something, I still beat them, mm-hmm. which is weird. Mm-hmm. So like, but like I don't think I could do that with like fighting duo or 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 or, or punks, Cami. Mm. I swear, like there's it's different. It's not like they're bad. There's no way. I'm saying their style, they're more jumpy, or more ex dive kicks, and more, more predictable. Like they're more like special moves, kind of like Cammy's, right? Uh, that's their style. Okay. They're, they're elite for sure, but they're more the special moves kind of thing. Mm. They're, they're like so when they're doing more of those, you get to hit them more coming in, instead of like mm. when you fight like guys like Do and Funk, for instance, right? They're gonna walk you the fuck down and just be annoying, right? Like, you don't yeah. get a lot of damage. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? You, they, they don't get yeah. a lot of damage. You actually wish that you're right. just random. Like, uh, yeah, can you I just be it. random? Please. Dude, can you be random? Be a scrub? Because if they're random, you hit them more, right? But since they're not random, you're not doing any damage. It's not that you can maul Cammy with Dawson. You feel me? Like, so that's right. super hard. But yeah, that's about yeah, it. Yeah, I, I tell people all the time, like, if you play Sim, just walk them down. Just walk and parry. If you get one perfect parry, you can get started. You can't really just do that. Come on now. You, you can walk it. You can walk Sim down, bro. Says with who? Cammy? Only Cammy, yes. Yeah, Cammy, yes. That's what I'm saying with Cammy. I'm Only saying with Cammy, Cammy, yeah. Not even Jury or Chun Li, Kimberly can do that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Jury's Chun, uh, Jury's dive kick is not reliable. Uh, uh, yeah, Chun. Totally. No, we're talking about like who, all the fast walk speed characters, right? Mm-hmm. That that can walk you down. Right, that's mm-hmm. like has a walk speed that's like super, super fast. Like yeah. they can't do that. They can't not play like that. You cannot walk down Dalsim, but they can. We can because she just can't because that that, that her dive kick is so dive scary. Is so, it's so annoying because it could punish counters or button. So so that's why. <laughs> and then yeah. the drill, the knuckle hits the float, which is so insane. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's about it. But yeah, anyways, yeah, I think we should move on to the. Um, the, we talked about um, let's talk about USA East actually since we're already here. Let's boogie. No, yeah, USA East. Um, mm-hmm. what do you think about in that one? What do you think? Um, what do you think about the the top eight for for a bit? Let's talk about the top. Okay, eight. so top eight was what, was what it was. It was Do versus Banana Ken. Yes. Right, mm-hmm. and then it was who was on the other side of winners. It was uh. Um, it was Paladin, right? Paladin and uh-huh. Naji. And Naji, right? If Naji played. And then it was Punk. yeah, and then it was Punk, Punk versus Ramos. Ramos, yeah. Uh huh. And then the other side is um, I believe is what. I do not know the other side. I forgot. Who was the other side? Who was the other side? Who was the other side? Let's see. And flux waves. Yes, yes, yes. And Kami, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was when he did That's the wake up jab and the comeback. Yes, yeah, insane. Uh, stressful. I still, I oh, can't believe man. that that that's actually a style though. Like actually, that's the weird. That's like the I'm not weird, but like that's the most like different style I've ever seen. Like absolutely, like oh. watching or playing all the JPs. That's a style. Like bro, mm. that style is just different talk about talk about like like i don't know it's just how you become consistent with that style you know what i mean like it's like he's like mostly like um he's flipping coins too and like it, you know he's quite consistent as well which is kind of like you know he always gets to be money. fair he played mika bro so his brain is already in that oh. that realm oh, of play you know what i'm saying so yeah. it, just, but, it just makes sense but like I get hit by that. I will get hit by that. The jab, the wake up jab into fucking command ground. I get hit by that. So that's like still unique and nice, you know. Mm. I'm not gonna like. It's surprise. That's the type of stuff. Those are like the guerrilla tactics. Mena told me that work against top players. Yeah. When you're work. really solid and you do that stuff, that works. That's like the that will completely yeah. just throw people off. Yeah, you don't expect it. That one will work so much. You know why? Because when you fight JP, right? Most of the time, you want to shimmy, mm. right? You want to shimmy because you're worried about the amnesia right are you worried about he might do parry you know what i'm saying or he right. might do jump so if you shimmy beats mm-hmm. all three or essentially has an advantage against all three right mm-hmm. but if you do wake up jab into command grab you cooked 
because you're not looking for that. Like, boop, 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 like you know yeah, what I'm and saying? Yeah, the sound it makes scares me. Like, shit, yeah. I'm like, ah, yeah, what, what is this? Yeah. Why is it glowing? Nah, not, not hating in that. That's, like, that's just like, uh, oh, God, that hits for sure. So the the tournament was, it was very interesting. Punk was sent to losers uh, by Psycho. Yeah, so Psycho is one is of his a, friends. Yeah, so Psycho <laughs> is uh, one of the better um, Kimberleys in NA East, right? Is that Punk's like friend or something? Yeah, they're uh, they're pretty tight. They live like around each other and they've been mm. friends for years. Oh, okay. So so both friends play each other who probably knows each other's play and then you know Psycho takes it. So I th I think that's yeah. nothing wrong. That's like it's pretty standard, right? You play your boy. Yeah, he was tournament. playing really good. He was playing oh, awesome. really good. Uh, it, that. Even Punk said it. He's like, yeah, there's nothing I can really say. Like, he just played her really good. Like, you know, his anti airing. Like, Kimberly with the Tatsu? Like, how often do you see Kimberly's anti or Tatsu? Oh, yeah, no, that's awesome, bro. That's you know? Awesome. So imagine that. Especially on somebody like Punk. Punk is not telegraphed. He doesn't really telegraph his oh, intentions. Totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for you to anti air with that move is like, okay, you're definitely on your A game today. You know? He played really solid. It was a good set. It was a great set, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, it was very solid on both parts. Um,. And yeah, so he squeezed that one out. So then Punk got sent to losers, runs it all the way back, uh, meets up with Ramos. He slaughters him. Uh, it was pretty convincing. Ramos did really good. He beat me, actually. He beat me uh, pretty what's, convincingly. What's Ramos' character? Uh, modern Chun Li. Wait, you lost to Modern Chun Li as Dawson? Yep, I lost to Modern Chun Li. I am not happy about it. Yep. No, no, no. How bad did you lose? I, I just. I, I, I just lost. I just I tried doing stuff and I just kept getting hit. And I was like, well, I don't so know. So you got you hit by the Hassan shoes because it's the only way you get hit. I got right? hit. I got hit by air legs like a lot. You try to AA. Uh, I would just try to like poke, and he would just like do it raw, and neutral, and stuff like that. And I was just like, what the hell? And I'll try to like do like She's situations into throw. And he was gonna wake up, wake up air legs, and I was just like, oh, you guys throwing that too. Yeah, yeah, but you should not even be in that spot too. Because like, okay, you gotta also understand mm. you can't play the modern Chun Li the same way you play Chun Li, right? Because they're different. Yeah. So your range should be closer. You actually don't fight her up close. You actually don't fight her away. You fight her closer. So you're inside the reactable range. That the to the non reactable range. Because Ah, uh, that makes sense. Because if you're further, if you fight her the same range as Chun Li, right? A human a mm. normal a normal person who's using classic, for instance, they have to mm. do the motion to whatever controller they're doing, motion and then kick. To do mm -hmm. ex od to do punish your fireball right for instance or they're gonna do guess and do that okay mm -hmm. right but then on the modern that's super easy is it literally just like they could do dry rush or dash and fucking one button and like hassan shoot and he claps you right? that makes okay sense. so you need to do it closer so now when you're closer you could just limbs all day you do limbs all day you're gonna keep hitting her so what happens she mm -hmm. steps back she walks back because she wants to create that range you start walking forward. Now she's cornered. Now you just box her. Mm. It's super easy because also, even if you're in the corner, her offense mm. is so shit because she doesn't have stance. So her, so so you basically only play neutral with her the whole time, and she can now she's like, like it's really fucked. Like because like I played with like all these modern Chun Li's here, mm. like CPU level five and the Chuan. They both like play modern Chun Li. They're both them like, legends, right? It's just like okay, they, they cannot, they cannot go in. And then there's times where, like, let's say you're going to have an 80% Dawson versus they're, like, 20%, 30%, and you're mid-screen. Mm -hmm. I would even just throw a fireball. If I'm up around, I'm going to throw a fireball so he can super me. Because that would do nothing. Right. <laughs> and he's off and stuff. That makes and sense. And round three, I just kill him. Yeah, yeah. But like I'm saying, that uh. one, bro, that, that matchup is, should be simple. And then when he steps back, out back to the range that he's comfortable to dash to Pasanshu or, or mm -hmm. stay in that range to throw a fireball, that's when you just do gr guess drive rush. If the fireball comes out, you do roundhouse slide or medium kick. Right. That's it. Damn, That's I was it. playing at the wrong range. I was playing yeah. it like it was classic. That's because yeah. I don't play modern Chun. I don't know how to, you know what I'm saying? So I was just like, I'm going to yeah. play the way I play Chun. Yeah. And I usually do really well against classic Chun, but mm -hmm. it's the modern that throws me off. And it's, it's not the first time I lost to the same guy either. Right. So when I went to go adjust, I was thinking again from like, the Chun Li standpoint, but I wasn't factoring in like modern yeah. specific counters, right? Yeah. But that makes a lot of sense because I was playing at the same exact ranges that you talked about, and you know it's easy yeah. to Hazanchu over it yeah, or yeah. to you know like love. Yeah. Just so that it. makes that makes a lot of sense, man. And I, he was giving me a lot of space too because he would just keep walking back. 
Yeah, totally. You, know? you just take that. You just walk forward too. But then also you probably start floating closer too. You start floating as well. But then that when you float, it's harder in that range, in a little bit closer because since she's modern, she can do the fucking drive rush and then fucking up kick. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You, yeah. you get hit by that. Yep. All right. Yeah, yeah. So, next thing. so so obviously you're gonna float in reaction to her fireball that far, right? That's the reaction mm -hmm. you're gonna do, right? If you don't have a fireball mm -hmm. out already. So your only two decisions, if she has a fireball out, right, is to do the guest slide or the not the guest slide, just drive rush. If they throw mm -hmm. fireball, you you press your roundhouse slide, right? If if mm -hmm. or you f instead of when the fireball is coming in, instead of you floating, you just do TK fireball, TK air fireball. Hmm. So you do jump and fireball down. And then if she if she drive rush, she goes right into it. She yeah, smacks right if she into drive rush, she right. gets hit by it, or she walks into it, she has to block it, you'll be plus. And now mm -hmm. you press medium punch again, fireball, you know, like, like that. It's, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's really I think that matchup might be six six for Dawson. I swear. That shit is easy. I think he beats her. It's just I did not play it right. And I take total like I personally just I can't stand modern and that's one of the reasons why, because I didn't it just made my brain I'm playing two different characters. You should be loving modern. Chocolate. I was treating it wrong. I was yeah, treating it wrong. That's a that's a so, that's a high five. Like like if so, if, a, if somebody played modern chun uh, against against Dalsim, bro, like I'd say, bro, thank you. It's like it's gonna they don't do a lot of damage. So and then and then you don't have to play the three quarter screen. You just play two quarter screen against that. Mm. Yeah, it's like it's like we're gonna play this ground game and then and then you don't AA because you don't AA in the range where. Okay, you know that the jump roundhouse that they can do sometimes at your jump medium kick in That's that range. To, to flip. Yeah, no, the, like, the side switch. No, no, no. But they just jump. They would just jump sometimes, right, in the mid screen. Okay. Yeah. When you're playing uh -huh. that two that two MP range, which they jump, they mm -hmm. jump there, right? You don't necessarily AA because they can do jump and fucking do legs, and it hits your back medium punch, right? And if you do okay, back yeah. fears, if they do the fucking fake leg, you're gonna land. She's gonna land, and she can punish. She can whip punish. You punish me. Back. Yep. This is okay. what happens. Yep. All right. So you don't AA at all. You, oh, mm. I swear, you don't AA. If you jump, it's all good. Your AA, your AA will come from your fireballs or your preemptive medium punch or roundhouse. And then you backdash. That's your AA. I swear, you have to do three, and then parries. But I don't bother AA. And then like the occasional, once you, once you condition her to do, to stay on her spots because you, you keep pushing her away, then when you're, you do your arc fireball, all of them is going to hit. That would just cover Bro, this is area. blowing my mind. What the hell? But yeah, I was saying that like, because you played it the same, but it should not be the same. It should be the other way mm. around because it's a totally new matchup that's like should be should be free. But that's like a simplified version of that. That's a style that you could just do. Wow, yeah. that is insightful as hell. Yeah, but like that one is like really straight. It's straightforward. I swear, because that one is like, um, you don't necessarily have. Like, dude, I don't even know how she can win, dude. And like so, if you don't execute it right, yeah, sure. But she can't really snowball you too because the modern Chun Li's offense is so whack. Yeah, see, I didn't know that she didn't have stance canceled. I thought she had it. She doesn't have those. She doesn't have it, bro. You gotta well, look, you definitely probably. Got, did, wait, was your game streamed? It was streamed. Yeah, it was. Oh, motherfucker, I'm watching that bitch. Let me tell you. Oh right now. God, please don't I just watch want, it. I just want to watch it so I can fuck. Oh it. my God. Wait, wait, what is that? Zafarino versus. Oh my Lord. Um. I feel like I'm gonna get scolded by my dad, bro. Wait, 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 wait. How come I can't see it? Oh, maybe, maybe the maybe it's on Twitch something. Um, which Twitch is it? You think? Can you give me what Twitch is it? Uh, it's on mine. It's uh on the whatever happens happens. That was the name of the broadcast from Saturday. Oh, whatever happens happens. That's the name yeah. of the broadcast. Yeah. Oh, is it on? It's not. It's not on Capcom. No, 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 no. It wasn't on a on a stream. I didn't even make top sixteen, bro. I like, drowned in pools. No, no, no. You know, and and then all the way I lost in losers gives me an aneurysm. I lost because my level two super dropped. Like it just they just. I don't know what happened. That shit was mad weird. Um. Wait, are you talking about? Oh, it's your stream. Your stream. Your stream. Yeah, it's on my stream. Okay, okay. 
Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hold up. Um, I think, how do I do that? Yeah, like this. Here we go. When was that? Um, here we go. Three days ago, right? Yep. Actually, you need to share it to me. Share the screen. And then you share it. Okay. Okay, well, let me do that. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, share it was there. You do full screen, share it, mm -hmm. put it there, plaster it to the entire stream, and then, and then, and then let me just see. Just come on. It's, it's so good <laughs> to do that. To watch okay, let me see if you can see it. Huh? Let me see if you can see it. I can't see it because All I right. haven't shared it yet. So you have to, I have to go to Discord first, actually. Do you share it? Yeah. Yeah, 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 I'm sharing it now. Hold That's on, let me, super um... snodgy. That's super snodgy, though. Yeah, Wait, no, you I this, fast forward it. this was ranked. Oh, ranked, okay. Yeah. But share it on... Uh, yeah. Hold on. Can you see it? I shared it to the Discord. Yeah, I can see it. But okay, are, is, okay. this, is, is your stream seeing it? Yeah, 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 they can see it. Okay. No. Oh, Go ahead. Ooh. I mean, like, okay, yeah, yeah, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see this. Oh, uh, brother. Uh, a brother. Yeah, what's that? What's up with that? Yeah, see, look at what you do. See, that's so bad. What, oh, why, why do you fears? Oh, uh, brother. Oh, god damn it. Like, so, bro, what is this? You don't have to fears. Go back there. Just a second. The first there is start. Seriously. Oh. Okay. Okay, pause. Okay. okay. Resume. Okay. Resume. Uh, resume and then uh, pause immediately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. After this. Yeah, yeah. Pause here. Okay. What, what's up with the flame? Pause, 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 pause. Pause. Yeah, what's up with that? What's up with the flame first? What, right? The flame? Well, okay. Uh -huh. So the flame is because they like to do the autopilot fireball and I just want to scare the shit out of him. I like scaring people. You know? Okay, okay. Like, no, no, no. I'm saying, okay, that's smart. good. They have a thought process. Okay. Yeah, but they, so you yeah, beat yeah. that, okay? But if they uh -huh. do a Sanshu and jump, what mm -hmm. happens? I get let's, washed. Let's look at the reward. Let's just think about this. You do a call out to to do what? To hit a fireball. Okay, you're gonna do yeah. what? Eight hundred damage or something? Okay, cool. That's I nice. am barely. All right, mm -hmm. but then if they hit you, what happens? You're in the corner and you take yeah. what? Three hundred? Okay, okay. Just you just decide with, to yourself if you think that's a good investment. <laughs> Anyways, continue. Okay. And so now you whiff, you whiff. Okay. Now she gets to throw a fireball now. Okay. Pause. Hmm. You whiff, right? You whiff the okay. flame. She's now go to throw a fireball. Which is what you were trying to stop to begin with. Correct? Yeah. Okay. So now your fireball is out. Your reaction is to do what? Crouching fears? You can't do that. You see what you did? Rewind. Right, because it Two traded and back. it hits me immediately. Just, throw, and just then, rewind. Two yeah. seconds. I'm telling well, you. I, I don't, well, I don't think on Twitch you can rewind it other than 10 seconds at a time. But No, no, no. But like, pause, 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 pause. Yeah. after this, yeah, pause. Yeah, yeah, pause. Mm -hmm. Resume. Yeah, here. Think, pause. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why did you do that? To beat the fireball? I mean, that's yeah. right. Like I should, I yeah. should have did heavy, heavy slide. No, you could do me. You could walk in medium slide. You could parry this one. You can float. Mm -hmm. You can float, then tell TP back, and do fireball. Okay, anything oh, but Lord. this at this start of the game at the start, because usually from the light fireballs that that if she gets this out, because she cannot get this out usually. I'm telling you, she mm -hmm. barely can get this out. Usually, she has to throw OD fireball to stop you mm -hmm. from, um, you know, um, jumping toward it. Because you're going to get hit on the way up. So, when you do, like, jump, like, try to float or drill to do it, you're going to get hit on the way up. Or if you're trying to react mm -hmm. and do a fierce, if you do OD fireball, you're going to get hit because it's too, super fast to travel, right? But, like, so, right. so this one rarely happens. But when that happens, bro, it's like that your reaction should not be doing the fierce. Unless you're, like, they're, like dwindling down with like their drive meter but anyways just re just oh for the burnout okay that yeah, makes yeah, sense yeah. okay that but anyways sense. yeah you're supposed to have a fireball out against her okay? and i know you're cooked you're cooked there for sure yeah. double yeah, dash fucking dash okay so now here this is like there's nothing wrong here at this point like you're here like that's okay that's, i can see that all right because you might throw a fireball that's fine like this is okay you made some defensive decisions that just didn't work out okay you try to mm -hmm. jab cool counter hit you okay cool okay, that's fine it's first round nothing wrong there's nothing wrong with it. Like, after that, you make some choices. There's nothing wrong there. I'm telling you. Something because sometimes you're gonna be correct there, sometimes you're gonna be you know wrong. Okay? Right. Nice. Okay. Bro, what is this? Stop. Like, what what is this? <laughs> what is that fierce, bro? 
<laughs> think about the repercussions. Think about it. Okay, this is good. Okay, bait. Okay. Yeah, yeah. that's preemptive. Okay. Okay. Okay, now you're good. Okay, what happens now? Like, see how much you lose there in the frame advantage there? Okay, you still yeah. have to control. Okay, cool. Okay, I like that. Modern Shanli, yeah, burnout. But yeah, like that. See, you were uh, doing I that. I jump strong. I uh -huh. trolled. Yeah. No, but it's good. No, that's good though. You're doing, you're cooking it. Yeah. How do I blow I, this round? I, don't, I, don't, I definitely lose this round. I 100% like lose this round. I don't like that charge fireball, bro. You're asking to just get barbecued. Against modern Chun Li, bro, she can be cute there and do some things. But like I'm saying, yeah. I'm saying like right now it's okay for this round. It's fine. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying like that's like because you're losing control there too. But that's okay. I oh so you need to throw fast fireballs against her actually. You don't throw oh, heavy. Yeah, I don't do heavy. Uh, yeah. I don't. I didn't realize how fast his uh, fierce fireballs were until like a couple weeks ago. Because I usually use like light and medium, but heavy yeah, is to, really fast. Yeah, to hold, so when you do fast fireballs, it's to gain control of the tug of war of the fireball game right so we have right. to, when you gain control of the tug of war of the fireball game she would have two decisions there when she's away from you she's gonna are she gonna keep up with it or she's gonna try to evade it by parrying or neutral jumping you know whatever it is or stop that right or throw an od right so you're you're, you're creating a situation for her to start you know to do something right but if she right. decides to keep doing the fireball stuff now you're getting data now, when you throw mm -hmm. the light fireball and then another light fireball, now you're going to see when you tug of war fireball, you're winning. Now, that's when you get your driver's roundhouse punish counter on their fireball right. attempt clash, right? And now you're going to get your driver's slide as well. But anyways, but you okay. keep pressing fear. It's just minus 11 on fucking block. <laughs> that's going to give you, it's going to lose control. You're not supposed to press Bro. fierce against her. Do you remember when I told you at the start of this, when I told you, like, did you press medium punch in the roundhouse? You, you, did you walk forward? Because you're supposed to control. If you're pressing fierce, right. you're not controlling. Fierce is supposed mm. to be a counter to if they're doing some buttons that try to stuff your other buttons that you're doing to stop them, right, in general. It's a, it's a reactionary lie, button. I die a lot because of... I'm not going to lie to you, bro. I die a lot because of Fierce, man. You shouldn't press that there. It's supposed to be a tool that you use if you get the download on their micro walks or, or their mm. button timing to stuff your normals that you're throwing more often in general. Mm. But it shouldn't be a and b poke. Because what is it? The, the reward that you get from it is so small mm. to what you could. It's a round ending situation. <laughs> it's like, mm. it's like, it's like, come on, come on, come on, Chun Li. Fuck me right now. Fuck me right now. Okay. You <laughs> okay continue. Yo. Continue. <laughs> oh, man. That is funny as fuck. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Sometimes you're going to be wrong there. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's okay. Yo, I don't like that goddamn backdash there too, man. I don't like it's a high float too. You're good. You could you could jab there. You're I could have jabbed in between yeah, that. No, 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 no. Here, here, I'm gonna explain to you. Here, you go. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Here, here, here. Can we, could it resume? Okay, I'm gonna resume. let it go. Yeah, yeah. Right see, there, right? see, 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 the, yeah, yeah. Pause, 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 pause. Since that, mm -hmm. since that move. So you're saying because you're burnt out, right? You're gonna be minus. Is that what you're saying, right. right? No, you're not minus here at burnout because that move that she did got you to burnout. So the, the additional bonus frames doesn't apply it until the next action. So let's say... Oh, even on multi-hitting moves? That's the counts as one. I'm serious. Uh, maybe maybe, maybe this one, but like I'm talking about that, that rule. You know what I'm saying? That rule. Like, mm. she tried to jab. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the move mm. that got you into burnout. The the bonus frames is not part of that. No, actually, it doesn't matter if it's multi hitting. I think, because the frame yeah, advantage sort of the... is the same. Yeah. Mm. So it's like, but like you know, maybe 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 it's weird for Chun, but like I'm saying in general, you should try it to mm. see if you got jabbed okay. there, you would have hit her actually because she went for grab. Yeah. But it's okay. And then I died. Yeah, you died here for sure. I died. I guess I just died. You died there because you did two things, right? You did what? You high floats. You did high float. You try to be cute against Chun. You die. You get up kick. Yep. You back dash also mid screen for no reason. You, like you, you rewind, rewind like what? Eight seconds. Eight one two three four, eleven. Yeah. Eleven. Yeah, like, yeah. Like before like yeah. Right, right here, right? Not here. Yeah. Yeah. Here. Back. 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 Yeah. No. No. Not here. Yeah. Okay. Just here, continue this one. Okay. Here. Yeah. That's fine. You get. You do that. That's cool. You have a lot of life. Okay. Cool. That. Bro, what yeah, is that? Yeah. What is that? What is that? What is that? 
Like, like, what, what I'm not fuck? gonna lie. That that is 100 percent a Sagat habit because of repositioning for fireball trap. I know. But I still do it with Dalsum. It's like so. You think about no, no, no. Every Dalsum does this too. But like I'm saying, like I, I'm really aware of this. Like that's like I always tell myself to do this shit because you're trying to go to your comfort zone. But like what I'm saying is you're actually not. This is not comfort zone because you're you're helping her. You go into the corner now, and then also when you back dash, that's like what 23 frames you wasted. Yeah, 23 frames, more space, so her yeah, modern shit is even better, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's bad. So yeah. like, so just say that that compounds and you just die. So, anyways, continue. So, okay. Mm. All right. Yeah, I don't know. I think that's. I don't know what's up with that. Because you could have did the two HP that you did there, two HP. You could have mm. did the DRC two HP if you want to, like you did here, right? You did this, right? Okay. Mm. You could even slide here too. You know, but like, okay, whatever. What is your What is your best option for Hazanshu when you know it's coming? Float. And parry. Yeah, see, I trolled because I went too high on the float. Yeah, you can float or parry. Sure, you can do back medium kick. Sure, you could do those things. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's a lot of mental stack. Because the thing was, up. in this moment, I was, I was like double minded because I was trying to punish the Hazanshu, but then I was like, well, what if she does a regular jump? And I know oh. that you can like stand roundhouse it if you're like you know or yeah. uh, jump roundhouse it rather right mm -hmm. if you're yeah. but I was like I just was not I don't know I think I was just trying to play not to lose in this small moment and yeah. it kind of bled into the rest of the round. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so here, so so mm -hmm. go back like a few seconds. Okay, yeah, res resume. Okay, pause. I pause. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here, right? So you backdash, that's fine. Okay, let's take that. So now, after you backdash, you're thinking that he might hassan you because you can fireball after you backdash, right? Because you can right. fireball, he can hassan you, right? Correct? Okay. Right. So you should press medium punch because medium punch beats everything that she can do next because she doesn't mm. have down charge. She doesn't have charge here because she, you know, she since you backdash, you're walking forward or jumping, right? So you just press medium right. punch. So what that medium punch does, if he hassan you, you hit her. If you jump, mm -hmm. you can block or parry. Really? Yeah. Because our jump is that floaty? Yes. Uh, okay. Okay. Let me resume it. Medium punch. You're good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, medium punch. You're good. You recover already. The fact that you did crouching jab would be a whip of like what, 16 frames? 17? 16, I think. 16. Uh, 17 frames. 16, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's 17 because I think, isn't it stand jab? Oh, yeah, it is 16 because yeah, yeah. jab is 14. Yeah. 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 So, like, do you even have time to back Fierce, which is another 14 frame starter that hit on, like, what, in the 15th frame or something? I don't know why I DRC'd this, no bro. Oh, way. my. There's no I way. know I was not playing up to standard when I don't hit confirm that. No, that's, bro, that's not how you lost this. You lost because yeah, of I'm all saying, the other decisions. I'm saying it's a symptom. It's it's not it's not the reason. It's a symptom. Like, it showed my mind was not there. You're not there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, I agree, I agree. Yeah, sometimes you're just not, not feeling it. Yeah. That one. But it's okay. It's fine. It's just one, you know, a couple rounds. Yeah, I definitely try to jab there. I don't give a fuck. Damn it. Sure, for sure. Okay. Well, fast, that's, fast the, that's the only game. There's no fast forward. I went Jamie the second game. Wait, what? Yeah, I, I went Jamie. Bro, I was playing Jamie Sim. I was not confident in my sim there. I was like, bro, I could have beat him here too, bro. I just fucking, I just messed up. It's like, you're already, think about it. You're already living in a townhome. You don't live in that. You don't live in Beverly Hills, right? You don't have a Ferrari because you're not really playing JP or Ken, DJ, you know what I'm saying? Luke, you know, but you're like, you're living in a townhome. Your car is probably like a Tesla, you know, playing Dalsam, <laughs> you know? But now you go to the fucking slums. Playing fucking Jamie versus Chun. You now you go straight to the slums. You know. You went to section eight with this with this guy right here. I mean. And you have a bike. Maybe, but you, you know, food car. stamps are kind of nice. They free. You were cooking. Tough crime. <laughs> yeah, but it's okay. All right. Okay. Okay, that's it. Yeah, but yeah. They, they, you now you, you know what it. happened there that you could have done better. You, you, you want to see how I lost in losers? How triggered I am? Well, look see. at this. This is got this got me so mad, bro. 
Oh my goodness, look at this. this? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, let me rewind. Wait, wait, who's this? This is uh, Fatality Falcon. Okay, first of all, I'm not gonna look at his MR because there's some players who's super good that's not their representation of their MR. Is this guy mm -hmm. better than his MR? Or that's uh, no, I'd say I'd say he's it's it's he's at that range. You know, DJ does Okay, yeah, but help a, elevate, a, but he, he's been matchup. getting better. He's been yeah. getting better. And it's a hard matchup for Definitely sure. But a hard matchup. Even then, just, just look at this, bro. Oh, you dropped it. Yeah, Bruh. you dropped it for sure. Oh, you lost it. Yeah, 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 man. It, yep. GG. I teleport, I teleport there. I take this hit there. Teleport. I teleport. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Why are you trying to tech? Look, did you see that? Wait, oh. wait, wait, wait. What are we doing? Oh, my God. Bro. Okay. Why did you tech there? Here, you jump. Because I thought he was going to back throw me, but I should have just jumped right, right, right. Yeah, I should have okay. just avoided it. Anyway, so now you got out, right? Look, Why did look. you... No, I look know at... that. No, that's not, that's not what it is, bro. No. Why did you jump there? Like, this is what I'm trying to tell you. This is the situations where why did you jump? Okay, look. Okay. Look. Mm. Okay. Pause. 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 Uh -huh. Okay. He did sweep and then drive rush roundhouse. He just got it for free, huh? Like no, that. He did. I definitely gave that to him. I was not comfortable. I was so fucking yeah. irritated that I dropped the combo and I no, just did not reset my focus. He did sweep, unblock, and then drive rush roundhouse. And it was just good. You're just chilling in the air. Why did you not check that? Okay, first of all, you don't even have to press any other button there but crouching jab against mm. him. Yeah, that situation, right? Just jab, check, right? Because you mm. can't really afford to press medium because he might randomly DI. I understand that. So just right. you press jab or shorts, that's it. But if you want to press 2 MP, you might be worried about the jump the jump short, right? You know? Those yeah. Things. But like I'm saying, that, so you just do jab, you wait. So just in case he jumps, mm. he dies to background house, right? And then he, right. if you drive rush, you do crouching jab to jab flame. That combos. You win. Mm. But instead, you decide to be, you know, Aladdin and fly with your carpet. And, you know, and, and, yeah. But I'm saying, like, you won that already. The moment you got out of the corner, it's GG already. There's no need for you to panic because he's panicking already. He is panicking yeah. because you got out of the corner. The moment you got out of the corner and he has the one, because, like, that's his one AA away from dying. You don't AA here mm -hmm. with back medium punch because it doesn't, it beats the purpose because you still have to hit him twice, right? But if you yeah, AA with back, back roundhouse, you just win outright. So it's kind of like right because the damage, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it's kind of like that. So you, so, mm. so you won already. But instead, you triple panic. Now you died. Right? You're pretty straightforward, right? Yeah. That's Everybody much. makes mistakes, but like I'm saying, like you know, but like that one is just as a tournament vet like yourself, you shouldn't be making those mistakes. Then, you know? I get very, very angry when shit that I feel like is. I, I don't understand why it feels like I always lose to some, like, X-Factor thing that I, I... It just doesn't... Like, the weirdest shit happens to me when I lose, man. And it gets me so angry because I think of my prior losses that remind me of that, mm -hmm. like, sure. anger. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, like, a recurring theme of mine lately. Mm -hmm. So the past, like, three, four weeks, bro, I've been super frustrated with the game. I'm not gonna lie to you. Because it just feels like ever since I came back from, like, DR, like, the first week or two from that like singapore france dr trek was like really cool and i was enjoying the game but then it felt like all of my losses were starting to feel like the same losses in france the same losses in singapore the same losses over 13 years of me playing versus like something random happens and i don't fucking i don't understand why it happens and then something strange happens again and then i just i lose my focus and i get so frustrated uh -uh. i start fighting myself uh -uh. that's not how it is buddy I'm, I have to save you. You can't think like that. It's I can't, and I, I don't like thinking like this, and it's you, frustrating. It's cl very clear what happened here. Very clear. I highlighted to you every single thing you're doing. That's not necessarily the game or anything else. You're, you're now you're now you're going to this the Twitter people, okay? The the YouTube experts. Do you understand? Like like <laughs> you can't you can't let those motherfuckers <laughs> like because those cats, they they, mm. they be like that for a reason, okay? But what I'm telling you is that the reason why, like, you lost there is those takes a lot of decisions. That's like what? Yeah. Decisions in those games? Yeah. 
That's eight decisions. That's how you lost. And those are really simple. You, you lost in those games when you were favored 70 30 because you right. made like a crucial bad choices. So, like, but you could easily fix that. Just be aware of it. That's like, mm. if I, since you're a pro, you're a vet, like, I only need to tell you what you did there. And just subconsciously, you're going to work on that already because you're aware of right. it. Right. So, right. But, like, you got to know those things. Because, like, that one is, okay, I'm telling you this, Zaf. Like, if there's anybody else who does this and they're, like, not a vet, I'll be like, oh, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, we can work on that next time. We could do this, right? That's yeah, fine. Mm. I'll tell them that. But you, you should not be making mistakes like that. But I, you have something that I'd be like, okay, I can also understand because you're playing Dalsim and this is your first time playing Dalsim. So mm -hmm. you, naturally, you're gonna have some spots where you're are uncomfortable. All right. Way more uncomfortable. Yeah, because you never played a, a, a character like this before. You play Sagat. Sure, there have some similarities in some areas, but mm -hmm. like you know, Dalsim is a totally different like you know, character in, 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 in most areas. So in some areas, some similarities I got, sure. But most areas, definitely its own character. No. Yeah, it feels way harder, uh, especially in those those spaces where I'm backdashing. Like, yeah. that was my comfort zone with Sagat, because, you know, I get, like, the yeah. slow fireball trap established and stuff like that. Yeah. So whenever I feel like I'm losing control, that's why I start doing it. Yeah. Because that's where I would dominate in five, but uh, I don't need to either like sim, sim can win at both of the ranges the one that i'm at and the range that i backdash too but i don't have to backdash yeah because the I'm range i'm already at i can win it i'm gonna explain why you do that why you did that because before when you uh -huh. backdash with sagat you throw a fireball you can still dp so that decision was right never wrong. you understand that's never going to be mm -hmm. wrong in any aspect okay but when you play mm -hmm. a character with not a dp character like dalsim you're not mm -hmm. supposed to have a backup plan AA in the event that they do something on reaction that you do something to their to their reaction to that okay you're supposed to establish control then you react oh uh. it's a totally different mindset okay so like so when you play Sagat you can backdash you don't care because you can throw fireball that establishes control and whatever they do you DP mm. one two step right so both of them accomplishes like whatever they do because if you throw fire back, backdash throw shot they jump DP for sure, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. But then if they do, you do backdash, throw shot. They don't jump. You just walk with it. You gain the ground that you lost for backdashing. So nothing happened. So it's a positive right. decision, whatever you do, right? But if you do Dalsim, you backdash, you lose already because you lost control. And now what you're going to mm -hmm. do? React to what? You overcompensate after that, which is primarily going to be a wrong decision. And trust me, every single character has that own version. And that's like, I, I'd be like studying those things all the time, you know? It's like, I have to do that as a mm -hmm. coach. But like, in general, like that one. Because like, I'm coaching pro players. I have to be, if not more knowledgeable than them. Like, in general. But they, that, that makes, makes sense. me super smart in the game, though. Like, like, because I have to study every character, in a sense. Mm -hmm. right? like, like, I don't have to play that those characters. But I need to understand it so I can help them. Because like, 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 you know, I have to help them. Right? right. If they need help, so I need to help them. So, but like, I'm not necessarily like the... Like the, um, I would say, like, I would not like tell you, I would not sugarcoat stuff. I'll tell you how it is. It's better that way. <sighs> that makes sense. Thank yeah. you, Ryan. That makes so much sense. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. All right, so, so now we can move on to the, the next. Mm -hmm. I suppose because that was all. Okay, what's that's that all next? she wrote. Wait, 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 wait. What happened to the other game before this? Because oh, this is gosh. two one. Oh, oh gosh. You won the second game. He won the third game because you. Yeah, you I went the... Jamie game one, and then oh, I went to Jesus. Sim. Jesus Christ. Well, when you play the Sim, you need more games, bruh. If you play Jamie, you could just play Jamie. But you play Dalsim, you play Dalsim. Oh, dude, oh my god, here we go with the All right. Okay. Hey, let's re resume this. It's okay. Let me see this first round. Yeah. Um. Oof, nice. He grabbed, nice.
No jump zone. I love that. Oh, God. Lost control already. Did you see that? Did you see that? Zach. But that float? No, 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 float? no, no, no. Back. Yeah, yeah, rewind. Or the fears. Yeah. Look, 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 look. Rewind, rewind, rewind. Rewind. Okay. 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 Pause here, right? Pause mm -hmm. here. So you're cooking him. You won this round for sure, right? Like, okay. You're cooking him. Okay. So you see, mm -hmm. like, now resume. Okay. Resume. I'll tell you to pause, pause. Okay, cooking, pause. No jump zones, he can't do shit, right? Pause. Okay. It's a no jump zone. Pause it. Okay, now you okay. fireball. You're plus what? 17, 16 here, right? Whatever. Right? Yeah, That's roughly. Good. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what do we do next? Fireball. Why do that? Why? We do fierce. And then jump, then fireball. Now the pressure is over. If you want to continue, you press roundhouse instead. So you can cancel to another fireball. You could do standing mm -hmm. roundhouse, cancel to a float if you want to do that. So you keep control. The, oh, the last okay. time you start doing fierces the moment you have a read on their micro walks. This is why that's what I'm saying. So, so when I, when I was like, I coached this other dog and was asking me, how do I land my fierces? I said, my fierce mm. needs to hit, not to be blocked. And they're like, how the fuck do you do that? Oh, you can. Like, so, so when I do, I did, I did a few streams for that actually. Um, when I'm going to press fierce, I'm going to call it, it's going to get hit. Like, like, like that. So you need to practice mm. that. You need your fierce needs to hit. Right. Mm. So you need to pay attention to how they parry the fireball initially, how they walk to get to the certain range. Did they walk, mm. walk, walk, block, walk, parry, block, walk, then just shit, like, like just chill. Then you need to time your fears, the active frames of it, to, to hit when they do that. When they, mm. yeah, so you need to time that within that. But you need to, you're going to build that read based on how you're playing your neutral, and it creates many, many layers on that one. But then, oh, yeah. when you're fighting a pro, when you hit them with a the fierce, they would understand that, that you did it there. So now you have to add some fireballs there now. Change the timing like this. Mm. That's why I love playing high level because they understand that too. And then I get to, you know, play that little chess game with them. Right. But yeah. yeah. No. But yeah, but like, I mean, that's like, bro, another fierce. <laughs> Brother. That's your favorite normal. I swear to God. It's nothing wrong with that, but you got to use it like, oh, like, look at this guy. You got to check. Right. Yeah. That's good. Starbrush. Yep. In there, baby. In there. In there. In there. In there. Yep. In there. Uh huh. In there. Mm hmm. Yep. Smother him. Yep. Slide. Ah, oh, that's okay. It's easy. I should have slide, yeah. In my head, I already had the jump float committed. Yeah. And... It's okay. Oh. It's okay. You play that good. I love that jab. Oh, punish. Nice. I love that easy punish. Good. Can never be wrong with that. Still trying to close. Mm hmm. Oh, you are like oh. the floating. You gotta walk instead. Oh, that's a good drill. Nice jab instead. I don't do that actually. I don't know why. I don't think it's bad. I just don't do it. I don't know. Did you cancel the teleport? Did you cancel? Nice. Oh my god. You goodness. are so fancy. You are so fancy. Nice. <laughs> I'm dead. Bruh. You're dead for sure. Why did I miss why, that? Why didn't I just uh, do roundhouse? That's what I said in my head. I was like, bro, I was trolling. It's okay. Look. By the way, guys, the audience, um, this is our episode zero, okay? We're going to do way more of this every week, okay? But since yep, we, we call it. this episode zero, it's because we want to get better at this. So we, we kind of call this episode episode zero, right, before our pilot. So we can mm -hmm. gather mistakes and stuff and areas that we can improve on that, you know, our future weeks are better. So we can have many guests as well. We can invite all the pro players that, you know, that you guys like. We can invite them. All right. Like, so we can have guests. So we could, I'm going to talk to them. Me and Zaf are going to, like, watch the replay with those, with those cats. I mean, analyze those things. Be like, bro, what the fuck are you doing here? Are you a bum? Like, like you know what I mean? Kind of like that. You know, that's going to be awesome. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Like, like you know, it's going to be awesome. Oh man, you guys enjoying hearing me get scolded by Papa Champ? What do you mean? I would love to get to get that kind of shit. 
I wish I somebody can do that. I wish somebody actually do, would do that. I do that to myself. Somebody cared enough? No, I actually do that to myself. I'd be writing some l notes be like, you're so goddamn stupid, Ryan. Like, I would do that. Mm. And then I would put why. And then I would put that. Because, like, you know, okay, you're goddamn stupid. You're stupid. Like, why, did I, why did I do this? Like, I'm going to read a few of them. Yeah, why did I not punish the DI after I did telly? And I backdash like a little bitch. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like this. <laughs> like, 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 like that. Okay? My A was wrong. Why did I do that? Like, you know, it's like I asked myself that. But like, it's kind of like how I X those mistakes so I don't have to. Make, I, I, so mm. I'm still going to make them, but it's going to be significantly less. Let's say if I probably make them like one out of 100, it will probably be not mm. really like one out of 150. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like that. Like, you know. And then it'll be like this. I even write this. I backdash four times? What the fuck? <laughs> like, that's for me. I'm only going to read yeah. this. I backdash four times? What the fuck? And then I had to watch that video. I was like, why did I backdash four times? Oh, wait a minute. I'm kind of close. But why did I backdash four times? Yeah, it's not really one hit away. Okay. Yeah, so anyways, so I had to tell that to myself. Um, did not optimize a burnout situation. I'm not talking like the up fireballs, you know, but, you know. Improve some of this oaky stuff. Add this layer. No, play 14 games with no anti-air. I don't tell. I didn't tell that to my stream, but I told that to myself. But I didn't anti-air. Mm. But it's like I don't necessarily need to, like, um, because like if I say that, it's gonna look like an excuse, right? So sometimes I'm gonna play weird, but I don't have to say it all the time because I don't want people to say I'm making excuses. But when I'm just playing rank, it doesn't care if they're fucking two K MR. I don't give a fuck. I should be Did you see how I, I I tried that setup you taught me with Which the blast mid screen? The blast yeah, mid that's screen. That's too good. That's too good. Yeah, it's too good. It's too good. It's too good. Bro, look at this. It's the greatest. Uh huh. So Distraction. I I you trolled with it. the punish though. That's okay. But... That's okay. But but it's the thought that counts there, bruh. Well, yeah, but why true, are true. we floating all the time, man? We were. Yeah, good. I don't know. How did we lose this there? Oh yeah, you dropped it here. Look at how uh, delayed it was. That's supposed uh, to be the fastest thing in history, too. Oh my goodness, bro. That disgusts me. I should have just kept mashing backdash and just take the fucking confirm. Dude, that's a, the ballsy ass fucking tech. Look at this. What was that fucking Aladdin fucking headbutt right there, bro? That was like, you know. Uh, and then I put like maybe start. It's like Ryan, maybe start learning the cami matchup even more. Actually, lab it, dude. <laughs> like when I talk to myself, <laughs> like in my chat, it's like that. Like like it's like obviously I know the matchup. I'm talking like to the expert mm. level. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. To the, to the level that I know matchups, right? Like kind of like that. Instead of just me using my game IQ to save me, I don't. Mm. It, should, it shouldn't be like it shouldn't be that way. It should just be like. I just know everything, kind of, you know, that's the goal all the time. Right. Yeah. yeah. I noted, think, noted. Um, I think, um, yeah, so this is, what I, this is what I'm saying, guys. Look, it doesn't matter what character you play, because I definitely coach every single kind of character to many different players, regardless if they're pro, non-pro, okay? So it doesn't mm. matter what character you're playing. There's a template of decisions that what's supposed to be good and what's supposed to be bad, what's supposed to be not efficient, what's supposed to be not efficient, right? Like, like it's those things. There's like a pretty good decision. There's an absolute optimal decision, okay? Mm -hmm. There's like that. There's a bad decision. There's like, God damn, you made that mistake decision. Like, they kind of mm -hmm. like that. So there's levels to those things. So it doesn't matter what mm -hmm. character you're playing, like, because you could just literally look at a risk reward of something and that one just, just like, you just see, like, play. Mm -hmm. But when you watch a pro versus pro play, that is usually a lot different to analyze because there's mind games to different layers already. So you can't yeah. really use that template because at the highest level, you use all different gears and styles. And then you use them sparingly, kind of like play, okay, this is my new buddy. I'm going to use this to you right now. Oh, shit, it's not working. Let me switch this to my other, my other style. T 20 seconds in, kind of like that. But like, that makes sense. But when you're fighting non-pros, and you're, you're like, Zap is a pro, these mistakes that he's making doesn't make sense because he's a pro. <laughs> but 
But <laughs> because he's a tournament pro, he's super good. That, uh, but he still makes those mistakes. You know why, guys? Because he's playing goddamn Jamie. That's what it damn. is. Like, if he was playing JP, right? Or fucking, what, DJ or something? I'd be like, yeah, that's good shit, man. That's good. Like, I'd be like, yeah, play that. Like, I'd be happy. But motherfucker switch to, J- to Jamie. Hey, man. That's my boy. Like, look, man, cool. Like, Lose what I'm style. <laughs> if you're playing, If you're playing Dawson, you need more games, right? Can you agree yeah. on that? You need more games. I agree. Because I agree you're, with that. you're a counter character. You're a counter yeah. character. Because Dawson's game is reactive, you're supposed to, like, play a certain game based on your opponent's style and tempo. Right? The reason why I play. played Jamie was because of Cammy. So I was telling you about that. Remember last time we talked how I think Jamie is even with Cammy? Mm-hmm. But Jamie's good. Jamie's good enough, like, I feel that you can use him in some matchups that you feel that you should mm. struggle. But that against mm. DJ, bro? That you I mean, I do. Re- I, I, I usually do well against DJ with Jamie, even ending walkers. Okay. So that I was confident, it, and I. Okay. It's just. But, you know, okay. shit happens. Okay, how much tournament, um, stage time does Jamie has? Oh, a lot. I've been playing him a lot for the past month. No, no, no. tournament stage time. What do you mean tournament stage time? You know how like. What do you mean like? You know how like okay. In yeah. tournament, in bracket. Like t- stage time tournament. Like oh, on a like on a stream like the main stage no like not like has to be the fucking top eight kind of shit but you know how like mm. you played some pros in a tournament that yeah. it was like super competitive yeah i beat dual kevin's um sure. luke in uh-huh. fucking bracket i've beaten who, who else have i beaten with jamie uh space boy with jamie okay. all right I've beaten... okay cool so it... how much how much experience do you have with jamie and how much experience do you have with dawson obviously it's gonna be weird right obviously it's gonna be way mm. more on the dawson side right okay cool that's fine but what i'm saying is this those are pros you gain experience with them how many times mm. have you played jamie versus players that you should beat and you played jamie in a two out of three and then you switch a lot to, you switch to dawson after you lose one game or vice versa oh. oh i don't really switch to sim often i'm not gonna lie to you yeah so that's like a very weird scenario very new situation for you for your body mm. for your mind to like get acclimated mm. to because mm. usually if you say i'm going to play dalsim then sure you play but if you want to play jamie go play jamie but like stick to it so at least you have time to adapt because you are a better player than your person you lost to you should be mm. adapt better regardless of whatever character you're playing right you should yeah. be favored but then when you switch another character it goes to reset again and he's up one so like you kind of mm. like that like, but you know it's like it's up to you but you know that's, it. that's what i'm saying yes so my my whole reason for it was mainly for the cami thing but then simultaneously what i realized was uh playing sim and playing sagat like i felt like my footsies kind of atrophied so i was gaining a lot of that back that comfort of being in that close proximity so when i went back to sim i actually got better in that up close engagement i didn't show it there but I, I'm way more comfortable than before because Jamie is forced to, like, I can't, like, fight from far. I have to engage, you know? So uh, I got a lot more reps under that, and then I got a lot more comfortable with Sim in those ranges. So it definitely helped me out. It, I benefited in more than one way, not just from, like, him covering Cammy, but also from uh, skill set-wise, from me getting those reps of being in those ranges that otherwise I could easily, like, neglect, you know, because I could destroy somebody and just never even be in that range at all in a two out of three. You know, but if I'm gonna win with Jamie, I have to be, I have to be under that pressure of that yeah, situation yeah, totally. in order to win. All the time. You know? Yeah, 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 totally. Yeah, yeah. I agree. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So we have that. Um, mm-hmm. Then, so on our next episode, right? So we need to gather more and more um, um, some better topics as well, and then we can mm-hmm. have a guest on our, on our sec on our third episode. Right. Mm-hmm. Like maybe we should ask some audience what do they like to know more. Um, you know, what's, yeah. what do they have any suggestions for the topic? Maybe ask the Discord as well on that one, maybe. Mm-hmm. Uh, but like, you can do like a um, like mm-hmm. a social media questionnaire type thing. Like, ask any questions in a thread, and we'll get to them. You know. Yeah, 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 totally. Mm-hmm. And then um, also, lastly, we should talk about the current state of the game because maybe everybody asking me about these things. So it's like, you know what? That, maybe we should talk about that. What do you think? let's talk about it let's talk so the current state of the game what is the current you, state of the game it's not you, just drive us drive us I so hope. you tell me what do you, you know your your perspective 
I value your perspective, and we should always have different perspectives, and we can always agree to disagree. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's what friends are for. So, like, I'm saying, you can have different opinions, and that's okay. So what do you feel is the state of the game from your perspective? <clears throat> yeah. So I think that the the characters... I think it's an engine-based game, right? Like, you can win with more characters uh, just because of how strong the system is. So I think starting from the system and then going to character exploration is the most important thing. And so I think the characters that dominate are the ones that absolutely abuse the engine better than the other characters. So, for example... JP is the first character I think of. Why? Because he can abuse drive chip. He is he can yeah. dish out a lot of damage, right? Yeah. His level yep. one, two, and three all have great utility, right? And the fact that he has three amazing supers is he's already like ahead of the pack. Okay. And then in terms of functionality of his like buttons, we don't even have uh, to talk the... about that cat. We just know that's yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, that's just like I read like he's my template, right? Of like how I would look at. What is perfect character the, at the front, right? Like, what is leading the pack? And, and yeah, he's that's that. perfect character for sure. He, he can engage characters that can engage, but also uh, ha- have an easier time circumventing the aggression of the game are the characters that are the best, in my opinion. So, who would that be? JP, Luke, Chun, um, Ken, DJ. Uh-huh. I think those characters, I think those five clearly can play both sides of the spectrum. Yeah, they can Gal play. Can do that too, but yeah. Yeah, Gal also right. So Gal is interchangeable. You can you can put him up, switch him with DJ if you want. I think DJ, I would DJ put him there instead. Yeah, I would put him there instead because yeah. the interactions are not intuitive yeah. like a Gal. Yeah. No, no, so no, it's agree. very awkward. You know, like things yeah. that you would think would work because of sway and the risk reward of sway just kind of throws you for a loop. Uh-huh. But yeah, those characters, those six characters, I would say for sure, uh, they are ahead of the pack. Simply because they can play both sides of the spectrum. They can be aggressive. Uh-huh. They, their aggression is rewarded with an amazing Oki, uh, drive chip scenarios, damage, yeah. meter building, right? That Those characters are separated. And then everybody else does, like, aspects of that. Not everything. Yeah, they yeah, do, yeah. Like, so that's the tearless you know part of the game. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Like, mm. but to me, <clears throat> I look at it, like, differently. Because to me, there's the tears. Mm-hmm. And that matters to a certain extent. Um, okay. So you know how, like, there's the list of characters that are already qualified. And there's, like, obviously Luke, Ken, you know. It's not, you know it's yeah, like, it's like 45 I, Lukes okay. and 96 JP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, okay. So that's a little bit actually not the true representation of it in that sense. Mm-hmm. Because since... They they had so many different regions that has an auto spot, and then they have their own world warrior for every spot. And then the, the top regions in the world has the same amount of spots as the not as strong regions. So, you know, like how Japan has two spots, bro, it could be insane. They got like legit 70% of the top 500 are in Japan. 70%, mm. the 30% is being shared across the, the, entire, the, world. the entire yeah. world. Do you understand? Like, they have two spots. That's insane. Okay. So, like, so imagine if it was like a, the other, like, kind of like the Cap and Cups before. I mind you, I like the World Warrior. I think it should be there for every region, but I think there should just be mm-hmm. more offline events, anyways. And it should be point Agreed. system. So, there shouldn't be, the region shouldn't be capped to attending every other event, even the CPT online of like mm-hmm. whatever region it is. You go there, fucking go there, bring your laptop, fucking go play. It's all good. Mm. But like the World Warrior make that exclusive for that mm. region. Okay? Like like you know what I'm saying? Like so I think that's awesome. But like mm. I think that in general, if that was the case, you're gonna see like the how the qualification process, you're gonna see like many more of like I don't think there's gonna be that many of Luke's. I don't think there's gonna be that many of like the those characters in that's being presented right now. Because now you're gonna mm. see more JPs for sure though. But like it's gonna be like a little bit more mixed because if mm. you do it that way, let's say for instance you got like Kobayan, you got Itazan and Snake Eyes, so it's the three Zangiefs, right? Okay, mm. and they enter tournaments. They say they place, win, place, win, place, win. So in the course of the whole year, they're gonna garner enough points for sure because they're super fucking godly and consistent, right? So there's gonna right. be three Giefs representation, at least two minimum. 
It's going to happen right. to the Dawson. It's going to happen to the other specialists of the characters. Okay? And those guys, the specialists, mm -hmm. if you're just a regular Joe playing JP, fucking Luke, Ken, whatever, real regular, like, regular almost pro-ish, mm -hmm. like, you ain't, you ain't going to qualify at the end of the year just being regular. You feel me? Like, like right. that's not enough. Because you're talking, like, yeah. a huge sample. I'm talking, like, the whole year. Like, yeah. how consistent are you? Are you, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, kind of like that. Okay, like kind of like yeah. how the Capcom Cups are qualification was before, right? So I think that that's like yeah. the, the the results would have been totally different. But besides all of that, like I think the state of the game, um, I think it's perfect to me. I feel like the game is the best first year of any fighting game has ever been that I played. For mm. all it's every single Capcom game that's been out, it's been by far the best first season. Every single Capcom game, the first year has been trash, but Capcom has been so good at fixing them. Okay. Mm. Like, and so, for instance, like, SF4 was trash vanilla, but people played it because mm. of that, okay? And then, like, they fixed it, a lot, you know, throughout and became, like, a masterpiece, right? They did it in Marvel 3, vanilla was shit, and then, you know, Ultimate. They did it with Cross mm. Tekken, was super trash, but then they fixed it, but then since there's still Marvel 3 and SF4, people didn't want to go back to it anymore, but they actually fixed it and made it a good game. Right? Yeah. They did it with MVCI, okay? But then MVCI, Capcom... It obviously was released it was shit, but then Marvel pulled the plug and then so Capcom can continue to fix it. Mm -hmm. So MVC I never got the chance and that was really sad. That's why I quit the game. And then like mm -hmm. they did SF five as well. Like if you think about SF six right now, it's the best fucking first year we've ever had. But when it comes to state of the game, the balance of the game, I think the game has been like fun, awesome. Staying in Asia, getting to play the best players in the world on a consistent basis and just mm -hmm. play world class guys nonstop. It's like super awesome. And, you know, and then all these things that you hear on Twitter, people will complain about. It's not being complained here because there's counters to everything. Just think about everything that's cheap would have should be an option, should be a decision. Mm. But that option or decision would have a direct counter or situation that was better for you to deal with it. Okay. So like, so mm. some of the more abusive stuff, some of them, not all of them would have, it's actually becomes a lot easier to, to check or beat. So like, so it becomes like there's a lot more expression in the game as well. There's mm -hmm. the game is more fluid. It doesn't feel very um, stagnant. I don't really feel like any like yeah. But like I know the game's only gonna get better. You know, Street Fighter Five was like what six, six, six seven years, seven years, six seven years, in, in a bad yeah. launch, bro. This was like twenty sixteen to twenty twenty three, yeah. Yeah, this is on a good launch. This is a good launch, bro. This is at least seven years. This is a good launch. We had we just sold three million copies. Is that the is that the fastest for any Street Fighter? It's like obviously no, excluding like sure. arcade sales from two yeah. and stuff like that. I'm not sure, it but it's definitely up there. I'm not sure. I, mm. I don't know the numbers, but I'm saying like when it comes to success of the game, it's fucking goddamn. It, we also won the fighting game of the year, right, or something. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, yeah. So, three million in seven months is pretty good for a fighting game. It's not like it's a triple A title. Yeah. Yeah. So, so this game it's a triple A fighting awesome. game though. I love, I love it. Yeah. So I have no, I have no complaint for our first season. You gotta understand when Street Fighter V was out, the first season of that guys, we have to deal with 8.5 frames of input lag. Okay, we have to deal with actual mm -hmm. stutter in the game, an actual stutter, like one of the fuckers would just who just start shaking and shit. You guys, I don't know if you guys remember these things in season one. Okay. Not only that, the dashes in that game are 15, 16, 17 frames, bro. You ain't gonna test stop yeah. the 10 dash with an 8 frame fucking input lag, okay? With throw loops and all the nonsense. The damage was super high and there's dizzy as well. You understand this? So, 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 we had to deal with all this nonsense before, okay? Like, but, like, they made it better every single year. So I'm saying, like, especially this game, this game, I know that it looks, it looks really lopsided, like, for some people. They only need to mention the top four or five. But if you think about it, 12 characters actually been doing well in tournaments. Mm. Okay? Like, if you look at the Capcom, I mean, the, the you know, the, the characters that has qualified for Capcom Cup, right? And then you've got, you got these cats. Like, how many, how many of each has qualified? Let's just use that as a basic, like, you know, like, uh, chart, whatever, stats. Like, and then we look at the tournaments in general. Like, obviously, Luke's performs really well. There's like 11 there. Just Ken's, the DJs for sure. Jury, uh huh, for sure. There's a lot of them, right? And, and Jury's always placed. Actually, Jury just got second in this other big event in China as well. Uh, like, mm. uh, and then, like, uh, and then there's five juries in Cap and Cup, right? 
And then it's Chun Li, super consistent. Doesn't really win, but super consistent. Gal, four. JP for sure. You know, like mm. there's like this amount JP, and there's just the same amount of Dalsims. And Dalsims actually doing mm. well in tournaments. Like I don't know how many weeklies I've won in fucking Asia. I even won the fucking Asia finals here. And how many fucking? Damn. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So many tournaments in Asia. So <clears throat> what I'm saying is. Like when it comes to like Mr. Crimson's cooking, you know what I mean? Like, 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 mm. like. It's, so, so it's like in general, Dawson's doing good, and then if you have Cammy's, Rashid, Blanca, Marissa, those guys are cooking too. Okay, mm. the only characters like and now you can even add, you can sprinkle some Ryu's there now here and there, doing good. Okay, but yeah, they're not really true. that, but you could put them Zangief's and Ryu there, sure, whatever. Mm. But then you, the only characters that are really sorry because they ain't gonna do shit in tournament is fucking Kimberly, Honda, Lily, Aki, Jamie, and Manon. Those six. Mm. So that means out of the 20 characters, 14 of those cats are in there. They have 70%, bro. That's a pretty good game. For a first season, that That's is fair. a grand slam, bro. That's, That's fair. You can even slam. put Kimberly in there. Because, I mean, look sure. at Jachi. Is his name Jachi, I think, in, yeah, in no, Japan? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he definitely, not a bad, definitely not a right. bad character. Definitely. Oniki won World Warrior with Kimberly. Yeah. Like, yeah, she, yeah, so you can even say higher than 70%. So, yeah. no, 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 no. That JP, that's perspective. No, 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 the jockey was playing Kimberly, but the, during the rough mm. times, homeboy was busting out JP instead to, to, to clean it up. Yeah, yeah but I mean, okay. but still, right? Like, no, no, that's okay. still yeah, yeah. So, that counts. I, yeah, that counts. Uh, so, what I'm saying is, like, okay, like, that makes them even better if you think about that. Now, instead of six, now with five. You know what I mean? Like, like mm. that's just too good. That's a, it's such a grand slam of a fucking fighting game for the first season. That is like, that is perspective. Yeah, that is definitely some good sure. perspective. Yeah, yeah, it's like I'm not saying like that's like you know, facts. You know what I'm saying? But like it's like from my perspective, my opinion, I think it's the most grand slam ever comparing to mm. my experience with all the fighting games that I play from the Capcom side. It's yeah. by far the best. Okay, by far. If like I'm gonna tell you this, I would have never played this game. Okay, if we had this online infrastructure, everything about this. The training mode, mm. all this was put in Marvel Three, bruh. I would have used. I would have never even touch any sort of Street Fighter. I would just play that shit. Okay, mm. okay. But like that game had such a shitty training mode, shitty online. It's not playable. Nothing online related. Now they're doing stupid parsec, expecting me to enter them stupid shit. I mean, they're not gonna enter that fucking parsec and shit. What the fuck? Play two hundred, you know, MS, fucking Marvel Three, bro. Let's stop it. Like actually, yeah, MVCI online was really good though. I like MVCI. Sadly, just that was the start of of the good rollback for Capcom games, right? Wasn't it MVCI? Huh? I MVCI was the start of good rollback for Capcom games, right? Yeah, I think um, it was the first one. It was actually a um, slightly upgraded version of SF Five. Okay, the reason why we didn't really feel mm. the stutterness and the, the the bad part of it is because the player base was super low compared to SF Five. As if I was overlapping. Oh. Yeah, I'm telling you this. Like, I'm telling you this. From the real shit, somebody was there on the inside, dude. I, I know what happened to that shit. I know Capcom wanted to... Capcom, do you know... Do you remember when I presented with Combo Fiend, the, the new characters at EVO? And for MVCI, they showed Jeddah and Gamora at EVO stage. I don't remember that, but okay, continue. Okay. But like, mm -hmm. uh, MVCI, I was super happy for... M it's like, I love Marvel. Like, people would call this like I was shilling. No, I wasn't getting paid to do those things. I was getting paid with the other shit, not related to mm. that. Okay? Mm. But, not, like, promoting the game? No. I was not getting paid to promote the game. All right? I love Marvel. You understand? Word. I would say, I love that franchise, guys. That's the reason mm. why I got into fighting games. So, to me, it's all bliss. You understand? It's like, they announced Word. a new Marvel. Everything is perfect in this bitch. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the first fucking yeah. week that I see the, the, you know, the game, I think, bro, this, this is the best. Okay? I tell Onasan, bro, please fix this shit. I get to talk to these amazing people that could do this. Mind you, they all want to fix it, and they will fix it. Like, but every Capcom mm -hmm. game takes time before they fix it, but they will. But Marvel pulled the plug on them. This mm -hmm. is why. And then we got people blaming Capcom or nonstop, but they actually wanted to continue it. Mm -hmm. But then Marvel pulled the plug because you kind of have need to have both sides, right? Because Marvel pulled the plug at the Battle of the Stones. And that's why nobody want to play it there. They put mm. the plug already. Three, four months in. It's like, like September 17 was released. So October, November, December. December was cooked already. Three months. Mm. There was no more. That's it. Like, like, so when they did that, everybody quit already. At least from, from the players that 
originally was gonna play like like me, Chris G, Justin, K. Bright, you mm. know what I'm saying? Like Ray Ray, everybody. And then uh, at least like there was a new generation of pros that came in there. It was great. Like that that continued the game. But I'm saying like it, it could have been a lot bigger than it should that it could have been. Like you know, but how do you feel about it going from three v three to two v two though? That's not necessarily Marvel Four. It's not called. See, the thing is, people were comparing it to Marvel Three. But it's mm. they, they created they named it specifically Marvel versus Capcom Infinite, so it's an actual like what do you call this? Um, what do you call that? That word where it's like um, like standalone? This, huh? It's a standalone like? like yeah, a... it's it, it's 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 its own. That's mm. not, not a spinoff. Thank you, Chaos. A spinoff. A spin-off. Okay. Yeah. So so if they wanted a Marvel Four, it would be Marvel Four, right? This is a spin-off mm-hmm. of that. But so that's why they had to call it Infinite. Does mm-hmm. that make sense? Because mm-hmm. they could have called it Marvel 4 and then put gems there still. It doesn't matter. Yeah, but true. They, okay. But they, 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 this is an actual spin-off of that. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that like so so you should it's kinda like you shouldn't compare Third Strike to SF4 in general. Kind of like a Super Turbo. It's a totally different dynamic of a game. You know what I'm saying? Like sure mm-hmm. it's Street Fighter. But it's different, you know what I mean? Kind of like that, like yeah. an alpha. Is Street Fighter Alpha? Is Street Fighter for sure? But it's not. You can't compare that to Third Strike or Super Turbo. You know what I'm saying? Like they're all different. It's a different. Yeah. Yeah. So 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 that one. But the people judged it like that, but because obviously during that time hate was like you know was was quite popular in the scene. But now it's been like mm. many years, so I can talk about it. But like like you know I was devastated with that one, dude, because I absolutely love Marvel. Man. I already mentally checked out that I was not going to play um, Street Fighter Five already when they came out. Damn. I already said that. I'm not playing this shit. I'm done. So I'm super happy. Mind you, I quit. Mm. Mind you, okay, I'm a true story. I'm qualified Capcom Cup. I just need to attend two events. I didn't attend then, and then I forfeited. I gave the spot to fucking Gustavo. Lost one spot, one wow. point in. Got it. I don't give a fuck, bro. I'm already in Capcom Cup and Marvel. I don't need that shit. I don't want to play this shit. You understand that? Wow. True story. True story. Wow. I don't want to fucking play that. Okay, because like qualifying Capcom Cup is free, right? I just go and fucking qualify. I'm gonna get 16 top eight, 16 fifth, third, you know, in, in Street Fighter. It doesn't matter. But like, I'm talking like, I want to play Marvel. I already checked out I know that, that one. I... <laughs> like, I'm telling you how much I love Marvel compared to how much I love the Street Fighter. It's, it's so off. It's like, it's fucking like night and day. But I, I love Street Fighter. It's my second game, but it's not mm. my main game. It just happens that I'm good at it. Okay, but it's not my favorite. You know what I mean? It's not my favorite game, but it's mm. there. Like, I'll just play it. Right now, it's my favorite because it's the only game that I can play. Like, like mm. But, like, in general, like that, you know. I love it. Like, sure. But, like, it's not. It's, like, it's, it's never going to give me the same feel that I have in Marvel games, you know. Because, like, in Marvel games, the, 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 you know, you're talking about these options that we're talking about? Where, like, in Street Fighter, mm. these, these, these branches that we create in situations? Like, in, in Marvel, that's not the case. It's like let's say we have a decision in Street Fighter that would be like the best optimal decision, good decision, okay, bad decision, fuck my life you did that mistake, okay. We have that let's say five kinds of decisions, right? In Marvel three there will be like fifty decisions, all right. Within those fifty, there's gonna be like maybe twenty that's pretty good, okay. Ten is so so. Mm-hmm. What the fuck? And then you're going to be like, bro, just get the fuck out. Stop playing the game. Okay, those are layers. And then there's going to optimal decisions, probably like three of them. And then the best players in the world will always pick those three out of the 50. So there's a bigger pool of decision tree, right? But then in this game, it's wow. shorter. So that's why the barons are higher. Maybe if we say Marvel is random, they're fucking mm. insane. Because it wasn't random. In that game, how crazy it was, where it's the X Factor, all their happy birthdays and shit, it was fucking consistent. It was the mm. same three motherfuckers was owning everything. Like for like five years mm-hmm. and shit, it's never that random. Mm-hmm. It's like so, so I'm saying that's true because you have more decisions, so there's more play. But sure, visually mm-hmm. it's more crazy, but it's controlled. But they get you know. But I guess in Street Fighter, for, it's super super consistent. But I'm saying too, they. But I never call Street Fighter random. But like I'm saying, like but I never. But to call Marvel random is definitely somebody doesn't know what the fuck they're talking about. How do you find control in the chaos, Ryan? That seems like with you, that is something. I think you are so good at when I watch you play, no matter what game I watch, you just have some weird control in the storm. What do you mean uh, control the chaos? I think that's part of the game, right? So that the skill in mm-hmm. fighting games is controlling the variance in the chaos. That's a mm-hmm. one that's one important attribute 
of a skill that you need to develop as a player of any level, right? Because mm -hmm. if you're not able to control chaos or be stable in those rainy, you know, situations, then you're yeah. never going to be consistent and stable enough to consistently place or have a higher win rate, right? So in general, mm -hmm. so you say, you say, how do you find your way to be calm in these spots? Well, that should be default that you should be working on because the more you're more stable in those, the better your results or your win rate will be, right? So that mm. just be automatic as something you worked on. So like mm. what we saw earlier with your videos, right? Those things does not make you stable by doing those things, right? The jump, right. the back dash, the toast. Imagine you remove the those, here. Imagine mm. you remove those three, like not all the way. So now let's say you're doing them like 40%, you make them fucking 10%, let's say. Do you mm. imagine your win rate would be and how expanded your brain would be? Just now you're gonna do other stuff that would now you'll see more that makes situations. Sense. Like, right. just think about that. Straight up. Let's do that. Mm. Like, that's insane already. So, like, so so I don't have to try to control the chaos because it's just part of the game. Mm. You just play the game mm. straight as, as it is. Like, so, yeah. So, yeah. So, you don't really... So, then, you know, there's players who's going to go desperate. They're going to take some risk. Yeah, you just mm. account for that. The risk management. So, it's like, it's just like a one big math equation. You know? Pretty fun, that, that makes sense, man, because like those moments are basically my form of trying to control the chaos. Like when I respond like that, you know, yeah. when I'm doing those risky things is because it's a form of panic. It's a subtle form of panic. Like it can look like I'm being deliberate. But in reality, the real control was the stuff leading up to it. Like you said, when yes. I was doing fireball, stand medium. Yeah. Right. Uh -huh. And yeah, so that makes a lot of sense. Like that if I were to reduce that percentage of, of taking this decision tree. Yeah. Win, right. win. If I cut this branch off, this yeah, win, yeah, win, my stability would increase. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Because your default, yeah. your default template decision tree is so mm. high level already. So like right. you just cut down the other bullshit. Automatic. You don't have to even try. So imagine this: right. you wake up today, be like, okay, I'm gonna go play. I'm gonna just make sure I'm gonna write this down. Put this shit on my notepad. Mm. Backdash less. Okay. Don't do mm. these things. Boom, 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 boom. Right. No more less mm. fierces, backdash less. Right. You just do those two things, and control, walk forward. You just put those three. Yep. Okay. So you have that in mind. So you just play the game normal as that would. But you just make sure you just do those things. Those three things that we mm. talked about. If your win rate don't go up, bro, not immediately because you're gonna have mm. you're gonna get introduced to new situations that you have to get acclimated yeah. of. But as right. long as those base numbers that we talked about is is fixed. Right, you actually follow that. There's no way that you don't improve. There's absolutely no way. The win rate goes up there for sure. Yeah, that's right. That's what actually well, kills was, you. That's what. Kills yeah, it you. kills me 100. percent When I was in Singapore and I played NL, that that was the first time I noticed that was a problem, but I couldn't like figure out what it was. Because I do remember when I was playing him, he kept like we played two sets. The first set, I smoked him three one. Right, it was like really convincing. The second set, I kind of got comfy and I started doing like a lot of fierces. And then he kept jumping on them, perfect parrying them, right? Sweet with punishing them. And then I was like, okay, am I just doing this wrong? So then I went harder. That's the thing I, I tend to do. Now that I think about it is I go harder at the things I'm doing wrong because I'm trying to see what I'm doing wrong, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. But you, that's not the time. So, so okay. That's not the time to do it. It's yeah, not. So, what, so, so this is what I always say this. Um, winning does not matter when you're playing, um, train your training with pros. In general, mm. what matters is your learning. So the goal yeah. in casuals and training, sparring, is to basically to learn, not to win. I don't give a fuck if you win or lose there. But did you learn? Mm. Did you pick up some stuff that you can work on, right? The, the mm. only time winning matters is if it's two things, right? Right? In tournaments and money matches. That's it. Right. So during that time, you just need to execute what you practice. But if right. you're still doing those mistakes that should be deemed bad in the tournament, then that means your preparation was whack. That makes sense. You never even that made attention sense. to those mistakes to begin with. So that was your big, biggest leak, right, in general. Mm. But, like, I swear to God, I never really stream most of my replay w reviews of my, you know, when I watch some of my replays. I, I did mm. a few of them, but, like, I really talk so much shit to myself because I, that's the only time it goes to my brain. It's like, why, why you, like, for instance, <laughs> like, I would write, I would have a notepad for, like, that day. It would be like, okay, I'm supposed to do these, these, these things. I'm not supposed to, I'm supposed to AA with this. And then mm -hmm. three hours later, I'm not supposed to. I'm supposed to AA, but only do this, not AA. Do this. I mean, I'm gonna have some notes, right? And then within those, I'm gonna write some little things. And then you can see that mm -hmm. I didn't follow those rules, or I was off by like four, 
For instance, like, I'm supposed to, like, say, I would even do, like, I can only throw a fierce fireball, but I would not tell the stream that. The stream would going to look weird. Like, what the fuck? Like, they, they didn't mm. even pay attention, but I'm only going to throw a fierce fireball, right? So it's like, what the fuck is mm. that for? You're handicapping yourself? No. I want to learn more situations, because if I'm doing fierce fireballs, I'm not getting frame advantage a lot, right? So if you're mm. getting frame advantage, what happens? I don't have enough control, correct? Right. right. Okay, so if I don't have no control, what happens? There would be more chaos, correct? Right. All right. right. So that means I need to increase what? My reactions, my awareness. Mm. So that's a default. Just fixes it. Because I don't have no control, but I've got to make sure I don't panic. You know what I mm. mean? So, so it's an All automatic, right. kind of like automatic drill for that. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. And then, and then I'm then like I'm I'm like I'm fighting like DJ or fucking Jury or Rashid on my two MP range, close the whole time. <laughs> mm. Like I'm I'm doing like ping pong with them. You know what I'm saying? Like it was like mm. what the fuck? I'm not even you know. But like it's like I'm not obviously gonna play it all the time. But it's an attribute that you, once you mix it with all the other styles that I worked into, it's fucking insane. Because mm. now you're a lot stronger in that area. You know, it's like when you go like learn MMA, for instance. Like you know, you work on boxing. Okay, then you work on your fucking jujitsu, your 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 wrestling, your kickboxing. Right. If you do all that stuff, mm -hmm. then when you go to the actual match, you use all of them, depending on what you need, right? It's kind of like that. Yeah. yeah, you go to the gym, you you don't neglect your legs, right? Yeah. You work on your legs, you work on your triceps. Absolutely. That's what you're doing. You're you're getting a uh, experience with all of your tool sets, uh -huh. so that when when it's a moment that requires use of it, it's yeah. like you're it's already right. it's second nature. Yeah, it's just yeah. you're prepared, it's, and that's the preparation you were talking about. Yeah. Because like what happened while you made that mistake is because you didn't you didn't know that that was a mistake. That means you didn't you weren't able to use your player skills, which is the ability to make better decisions most of the time. Because this is what player skills, is, right? Like a, a top player would make better decisions most of the time. But if there's a knowledge gap, you're gonna have to assume, which is what you were doing. You're assuming. Mm. So that means you, you at that point you're not even using player skills there, or you're one of your attributes because that you're just assuming because you're not aware. You're not familiar. You don't have knowledge. So you need knowledge so you can use your skills. You can use talent for sure. Mm. That's a certain, like you can use talent, yeah, def definitely. I can wing up some matchups and like I would not really that in a lab. Sure, I can use talent, but like bro, that can only get you so far. Like like in general, you need to be you know aware for every scenario and actually know the answer. I mean that's mm. because what happened to you earlier. You didn't know because you just go automatic. So if you don't know, it seems like you go to your comfort zone. Comfort zone, you want to right. be, yeah. So you just need not if you know that it's GG already. Hmm. That is very interesting. And then of course, like you said, like awareness is the is the first step, right? And then it's a matter of getting the reps. Then eventually, it's second nature. Yeah. You gotta be patient with yourself. See, that's yeah, the thing yeah. is, I I tend to not be patient with myself. I'm not gonna lie. I'd be like, I I will stick to stuff that's really difficult. But I'm persistent more than I am patient. You know what I'm saying? That's me. Yeah. I mean, you're supposed to be patient because, like, bro, imagine you, you're talking about going to the gym, right? Okay. Mm. You go to the gym, what? Every Say you go to the gym every day, working out for mm. two, two, two workouts, two hours, every day. Mm. Do you think you get the you get some de definition, some results after three days, four days, five days? You don't see that shit. But after one month, that shit just booms. Well, I'm a superior genetic freak, so I see it in 30 seconds. But, you know, I'm just different, you know, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know what I'm talking about, right? The same thing <laughs> <Yeah>. here. Same <laughs> shit. Same yeah. shit. You can't be, like, too impatient about that. That's like I was telling mm -hmm. people, the amount of stuff that I know, I can only use by 40-50% of them. Mm -hmm. I'm so annoyed. Okay. Like, like that. But when I'm fucking on, bro, I can kind of, like, tap into, like, maybe 60 or 60%. And then when you're just mm. cooking people, and you get like some streaks and pros, it's the best. Because you're on. But yeah. Yeah, um, I hope that, um, I'm excited for next week. It's going to be our first episode. Today's uh, episode zero. We want to get, we want to mm. improve our overlay. We want to improve our chat. We're going to have some guests. We're going to have some better topics. We're going to have some, yeah, yeah. we're going to have some stuff that, um, you know, maybe watch some replays of uh, the pros that we invited and ask mm. them what do they think so we can go ahead and analyze and break it down as well um mm. you know so ask the people what they do they would like to see next next week as well you know yeah, yeah for sure this is just uh you know like to get a feel for it me and ryan have, this is our third time chatting on stream yeah. and it's been a banger after banger people enjoyed the first two so much so they just kept asking you know and we just gave the people what they wanted 
And, you know, I feel comfortable. I, I You know, Brian gets to be himself. I get to be myself. So it's like, it's cool because we have, we balance each other out. You know what I'm saying? It's, yeah, uh, it's pretty dope. Yeah. So. Like, I will be wrong. I mean, not right all the time, right? I'll be wrong. And, and I'll, I need you to call. I told you that, right? Call me out. Tell me if I'm mm. fucking up, bro. I, I, I like the people that I'm around with, they fucking tell me, bro, you stop fucking up. Stop doing this shit. Regardless of anything mm. in life, game, doesn't matter. Tell me. Okay. If I have a booger in my face, tell me. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, tell me. I don't give a fuck. Just tell me. Like, kind of like that. Right. Straight up, that's what it is. No, no BS. You know? There's people that care about you. You know, the ones that like actually think about you, they don't think about themselves. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. That makes sense. Because I'm, I'm going to be wrong. Because I can't have this mind- mindset if I'm going to mm. have ego when it comes to learning. I would have ego when I want to win in tournament for sure. I would be confident and will look like super mm. arrogant. But I'm just confident because I worked my ass off. But like when mm. it comes to learning and improving yourself, you should throw ego out the out the window. I swear. How do you like, do that? How do you balance that, bro? That is my different, biggest that's a different, challenge. It's a different topic, though. It's a two different thing. This is why I told you when sparring mm. and training, what's the goal? Mm. What's the goal? To, le- to learn. Sparring right? and training is learn. Right, right, right. Okay. All right. Then your other area is what? Is to win, which is what? Right. Money match and tournaments. Okay, so it's two different mm. things. So true, that true, means true. you could add ego, confidence in that one. Here, you should not mm. have ego, right? I think how do you store it away, though? That's, that's the thing. I don't know how to, like, just put it away. It, it's it a sneaks different topic. Up, bro. It sneaks in. That, that shit is a bitch. It, it just fucking sneaks you're in. you're not following the template of the first one. Hmm. Is it, it what okay, you you agree with the rule, right? Okay, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, I do agree. I do. I okay. do. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, but then how come you're having some emotional feelings about it? Mind you, you're allowed to be salty if you got destroyed in a set or a training for like mm-hmm. 10, 20 seconds. After that, you need to snap back out of it because you don't want to forget what you could potentially learn or rob yourself. Okay, that makes sense. That makes okay, sense. That's, that is what I... Okay, okay. okay. I thought sure. you were talking about like you eliminated it entirely. No, you're supposed to. You're okay, human. Okay. You're going to make you have some emotions. But after that, okay. you have to snap back to reality immediately because mm-hmm. you don't want to forget all the potential lessons that you could have acquired in that session that you that you know that you lost. That's it. That's how it okay. Is. That is beautiful. That yeah. is really, really like, good. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't you like it's two different things. Mm-hmm. Like it's two different things. So it's not necessarily like I'm saying, how do I separate? It's already been separated from the gate. We have an understanding. What do you mean? Mm-hmm. I'm not it's like that's not make I don't think that's any special, I think, like to mm-hmm. have that distinction, like mm-hmm. you know. But if somebody like let's say let's say for instance like this happened, like, like in the gaming house, you know, FGTV. Somebody there, I think, you know, if you could do a lot of casuals for fun, Marvel, but everybody talks shit. Everybody, that's normal. It's part of the culture of that community. Okay, mm. everybody talking shit, and that's fucking standard. Okay, the standard, huckling standard. It's not like Street Fighter community. Okay, it's totally different. Right? Mm. So, like, when you got motherfuckers, like, legit, like, non stop talking shit, I'd be taking them shit personal. Even though they're like, you know, because like, oh, let's do a set right now. I'm going to fuck you up, okay? You little bitch. Mm-hmm. Like, they'd they be doing this to me, okay? Mm-hmm. So, I'll be taking it personal, but not personal like, you know, like like that level. But, like, mm-hmm. you know, I'm going to use it as a fuel to fuck him up so hard so I can pop off even more. You understand? Mm-hmm. But that's a motivation. Yeah. But I didn't use that to get, like, emotional. So, I'd start you doing emotional things. Because like the more you become more emotional in the game, you become less logical, and less logical, you start feeling more, and then you start making more mistakes because you're not, you're you're just feeling. I'm assuming, right? I mean, you're assuming is bad, but if yeah. you're more logical, you actually have a reasoning for all your actions, then it's better. You're more consistent. So, but yeah, I don't think it's hard to separate them at all. It's just probably if you don't follow the structure, then yeah, it's gonna be hard. But if you know already, that's good. It's mm. easy. Yeah, I think it's just a lapse in my focus that causes me to do that sometimes, honestly, you know, because you lose sight. That's that's the only reason, because I know, I I understand it, I believe it, right? But the issue is just lack of discipline, focus, you know, the focus slips. Keep telling that to yourself. That's that's enough. That's enough. That's enough, right, right, right. right. Yeah, as long as you're aware of it, like, Mm -hmm. okay, right, let's say right now you're like, what, 50-50, Okay. You keep telling that yourself, be aware of it. The next time that happens, you get the salt after you get destroyed. Mm. And not a tournament is fine, but I'm mm. talking like sessions, right? And you got bodied, whatever. Mm. Like, 
maybe next time you'll be like 48%. Then 47 mm -hmm. and so on. Yeah. Don't expect big lowers jumps. Lowers. Just little. Yeah. But right, the, the right. key is consistency. That's it. Right. You know? yeah, yeah, that's yeah. number one, I swear. Availability. I guess I go to, you say that in basketball, actually. Availability is the best ability. Mm. Pretty cool, actually. Oof, that's Mars. Yeah, that's, like, I just, that's wow. not for me. I heard that from basketball. But that's still, that's really, really, wow, that resonates a lot. Holy shit. Yeah, because you're not available if you're not being consistent. You've shut yourself off from doing the thing that you're yeah, supposed to be doing. Yeah, for sure. That's, that is, damn. Eh. Like, I actually had a, I had a, I had a couple, couple coaching sessions today I'm supposed to do. But I, 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 I um, messaged them that, um, that I don't want to rush it. Because, mm. because, um, we have a podcast and it's yeah. running close into the time. All right. And I still got to hit up a few more too later today, but like, I don't want to rush ever my coaching session. I'm telling you how mm -hmm. serious I take my coaching sessions with these people. Like mm -hmm. I have to make sure it's fucking goddamn perfect. Like, mm -hmm. like I have to make sure it's fucking perfect right? because if I'm like feeling rush or feeling like, Oh man, I'm running out of time. I'm not focused. Like I'm, I'm like, I'm just like coasting autopiloting. Yeah. Trying to teach somebody, it, it's not good. It's not. They're not. Right. It's not good. So I need to make it perfect like that because, mm -hmm. um, like, yeah, I just I just can't do it. So like, I have to tell. High them. standards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I value people's time too, so I don't I don't play around with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, if somebody invests in you, it's not just money. It's time, and yeah. you can never get your time back. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I just don't. You know how much time. I would yeah. love to spend with my loved ones that have passed away. You know what I'm saying? I don't get that chance. Oh, you know, like sure, time definitely. is invaluable, you know? And if somebody invests their time into you, I have no choice but to take it serious. Speaking you know? of that, bro, I lost my, um, my mo the most important person in my life, uh, my grandma. Um, I was in a, you know, obviously my grandma raised me. Um, she was like actually my parent because like my mom, my dad, like, you know, they were, they, they, they separated and they had their own families, but my grandma took me in. Okay. Mm -hmm. So my grandma was my mom and my dad. So, like, when I'm doing all my gaming stuff, she doesn't even understand those. <laughs> like, especially when I'm playing Marvel or Street Fighter, you know, mm -hmm. all this stuff. But, like, I'm, I, I was in a tournament. I, was, I went to um, Texas, like, absolute battle. And then I went to Texas. She went to the hospital the first day I got there. I was like, oh, my God, everybody's calling me, my family. My grandma passed away right, like, right before my, like, top eight. I was crying in a stage and I have to play. But I can't really leave Dallas yet because I want to go to the Philippines to visit my grandma. Do you understand? Like the flight can't mm -hmm. be like now because you're Dallas to fucking Philippines. Why are you going to fight, fight for that? My flight will be the next day. So I was like, I have, to, I have to just get the shit out of the way. So instead, I have to tell my brain, I'm super emotional, I'm crying, like nonstop. I tell, my I tell myself, Okay, let's just get this shit out of the way. Let's just win this whole shit so we can just all leave. I need to go back to my room. I had to tell that to myself. Like, so use that to, like, tell myself to, um, you know, not to get, not to be a little bitch. Let's just finish this so we can go and do our thing with our family. Mm. So I did win the whole shit super fast. But, mm. like, I was able to wire myself despite being in the most fucking, most emotional moment of my life, bro. Wow. But I had to use this as more of a motivation instead of a negative. Because, like, what would have happened if I just cry and then I just quit? Then it's still the same. It's Nothing happened, right? It's still the same. Like, you know, winning the tournament doesn't matter because I won a shit ton of them already. But, like, what I'm saying, like, but you might as well make the most of it. Get it out of the way. Like, so, so, I didn't wow. go. Yeah. But, like, I'm saying, like, but I, was, but I learned that already during that time. Like, I had to split those, those, those things. But, yeah. Oh wow, that was. So so oh. I, so I so right now nobody talks shit, right? Nobody talks shit in, in 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 Street Fighter community as much compared to Marvel. I mm. always would. I always. I can't wait for those days when people talk shit, because I always use them as motivation. Like mm. nobody talks shit, because like that. I really use that motivation. Like it's kind of like I use like use that as a fuel. I can't wait. Mm. Like, that's why, you know, but like, nobody really talks shit, especially here in Asia, you know. Here it's very friendly, super nice. I love it. Mm. Yeah. And I mean, it makes sense because you said, like, with your notes, you talk shit to yourself, and it's like a motivating factor of yeah, yeah, yeah. getting it in your head, right? Like, you're them. 
So, I'm, so okay, so let me ask you, is that a cultural thing? Because, like, in my country, we're, we are, like, disciplined like that. Like, you, mean, you know, country? our parents... What like, are you talking like, about? I'm from my, like, my country. No, no, I'm not. I'm not American. I'm Afri West African. So, you're not American citizen? I thought you no, I am, Boston. but both of my parents were, were from Cape Verde. So I don't I'm, know. I'm, it's not a culture, because let's say you say you do Philippines. I don't think so, but I don't think in my friends. No, if your family, all, you're no. raised by your family and your immediate no. family, you're you know. I, I, so I'm gonna tell you. I mean, it's pretty obvious, but like Kobe Bryant is my Michael Jordan. So, Kobe Bryant has been my um, hero. From you know, so I grew up watching Kobe Bryant. He's been my favorite basketball player. Like, you know, you're breaking, you're breaking a hole. What happened? Your mic? You're, you're muted, actually. Uh, I can't hear you. <clears throat> you're cutting out. Corp was just going crazy. Okay, okay, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, my favorite. I don't know what happened. But yeah, um, Kobe Bryant was like my hero. Yeah, and I don't know. It, it's someone. His court is just hating. I don't. Okay, we're good now. Like Kobe Bryant's my hero. He's my, mm. that's my very first basketball jersey. Like I definitely like always watch mm. Kobe. Um, you know, and yeah, so I was inspired by Kobe the whole time. So that so he had like mm. all this Mamba mentality stuff that I always be tweeting and retweeting. Yeah, sure. That's inspired me a lot growing up. Because I have to find somebody that I can relate to in a way that I can use them as an inspiration. And then, you know, so I watched mm. probably every single video of Kobe many times. Like, throughout, like, my youth. All the way until even now. Yes. Yeah. So I was super devastated when he died, for sure. But yeah, just FYI. Yeah, so, because when I was saying that, right? Because you're from the Philippines. Uh, are you first generation? Were you born there or born here? No, I'm born in the Philippines. And then at three years old, I went to USA. You were born in the Philippines? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. So, yeah, the reason why I was asking was, I was asking if it was like a environmental thing, like a, a nurturing be. thing. Where, no, definitely you see not what I'm nurture. Saying? But my, my, the people around me, like CJ, mm. right? CJ is like, you know, like the, 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 he has definitely um, been a huge part of that, you know? CJ, I'm telling you. Mm. Um, that's, my, that's my brother. Like, I, like, like Aaron, CJ, Hiro, you know? I love those guys. My brothers for life. So like, um, but then like, you know, we got Kobe, et cetera, you know, that I use motivation since I don't have any parents, mm -hmm. right? My grandma is enough, mm -hmm. but I'm talking like an actual structure. I had to find somewhere to get more, you know, inspiration from, you understand? Like, that makes like, sense. Since something mm -hmm. lacks, you kind of have to find something to, yeah, to be positive and then do that. Right. But yeah, mm -hmm. but I got to go. Um, All right, champ. We'll do this. I had so much fun and. We need to ask um, what we can do better to the audience. Um, I think I'm gonna get on your Discord, your Discord, and ask them as well. Maybe ask them, yeah, ask for them sure. the audience as well, uh, what we can do better for next week, which is our our, our actual pilot episode next. Episode week. uno. Yeah, Sorry, hell yeah. Episode zero. So you know. Mm -hmm. I hope that I'll make a channel in the Discord and then uh, give us me and you permission so that you know we can ask whatever, whatever, right? And then yeah. I would love to I say like, see you know what if there's a way that I can like you know what, maybe you should do a raffle like a reviewer raffle mm -hmm. and then the winner we do a replay review or something yeah we could do that I'm down for that yeah, you know, at least we do I'm totally down for that yeah you know that's one I'm totally down for that that'd be pretty sick yeah how would you want to do it you want to do like a tag team or you want to do one on one on one because I could do your chat and you could do my chat Oh, whatever you, you want. Are. I'm not necessarily. Yeah, we we can have fun with this. Yeah. Anyway, I'm over there. Yeah. I do so much coaching that mm. I don't mind giving away a few like like replays. It's like like it's so much coaching, bro. I'm telling you, my queue is insane. I so remember last time. Yes, I told you I had 38. 38. Yeah, I remember so I exactly down, 38. So I refreshed them. To see who's still in there so it obviously became like 26 okay but then mm -hmm. since i did more release some videos about coaching like you know chris t talking about replays all this nonsense and then now i have a new set i had seven people 
just added on the queue today. Before I, before I called you. And I cannot take them all, bro. Because I need to make sure my, my shit is quality. Because I don't like okay. quantity. You know what I mean? Like I Dial. Bro. bro, I'm telling you. And I'm charging, like, really expensive. Because mm. not only they have to, like, pay a hundred bucks. Okay? They have to pay... They have to do a bundles. Spores, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty smart. I like that. I mean, no, it's not, like, for me. It's for them. So they're more committed. Because they, yeah, I, I like I that. Can get, I can get those single sessions anywhere, anyways. Mm. But I wanted to take it more serious. So I need to have a lesson plan for them. If I'm mm. just do one session, how the fuck am I going to have a lesson plan for you? That's custom made for you. That makes sense. Like I said, everybody learns differently. I need to learn his mm -hmm. personality, how he learns, how he acquires mm -hmm. information, what kind of player he is, what game did he play in the past, how long he played fighting games, his understanding. I need to know all of this. So now when I mm -hmm. give him an actual, you know, lesson, it's fucking perfect for that player. All right. It's not necessarily like a generic like template for everybody because this it will never work everybody fucking learns mm. differently you know that makes sense yeah. that makes sense but yeah well mm -hmm. thank you guys for tuning in shout outs to champ for being an amazing host my partner in crime yes, now sir. officially i i officially claim him as that uh and we will catch you guys next tuesday same time ryan what are, what are you thinking same time, it's okay. Yeah, same time. Yeah, same time. Ten thirty. Ten thirty ish. Okay, that would be I cool. Mean, yeah. Well, so. We'll... I mean, look, we can ask them what do they think it is the best time, as well. Because Word. look, we can like we need to figure that out, right? We mm. need to figure out what's the best time for what the what the people think. Or, I mean, I'm. Open. Yeah, I'm, I'm open. Yeah, I'm I just open. Want to know what's the best time. Maybe it's too late for them for some time zone. Mm. Maybe it's too early. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like whatever it is, but we need to figure out the time. You know. Yeah, for sure. We will we'll we'll knock that down. Uh anybody that is in the chat that is new, join the Discord. Champ is in there, I'm in there. Uh we will be asking you guys for some feedback on the stream. Let us know ideas, questions you want answered on the stream when, when we get to those segments and whatnot. Guest appearances you'd like, topics, all that jazz. Yeah. I, and I, uh yeah. Yeah, I called time because we we wrote that down. Because you see we had a we had a structure on our chat. Unlike oh, yeah. we gotta do, we gotta do two to two plus hours, but then we did two twenty mm. minutes for these other topics, so two point three. But then we because yeah. we can keep going because last time we fucking talked for like seven hours some shit. Yeah, we definitely we did a seven hours. I, I, I need to play some Street Fighter again today. I don't want to play actually, but I only I only stuck for a couple hours too. But Damn. I have a lot of energy because I didn't play for fucking six days, guys. Six and a half. Oh, true, true, true. Your blood is pumping. So, so, so your, your your boy is just. Ooh, I can't wait to fucking kill some DJs and JPs today. Like, like, <laughs> yeah, baby. All right, well, all right. Anybody that's tuning in on the YouTube, feel free to like, subscribe the video, comment below, let us know what you think. Please check out F Champ's channel. That man is a gold Likewise. mine of information. He's one of the greatest for a reason in and outside of the game. So make sure that you tap into those resources that Champ provides. All right, and we will catch you guys next Tuesday, we're gonna figure out the time. We're ball parking for 10 p.m. Eastern, same time as today. All right, so yeah, I'll we'll catch you guys. Love y'all. Bye, Zach. Peace. 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 All right. Thank yo, you, champ. Yo, 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 yo. That was amazing.